Are we live? I think we're live. Now we're live. Hi, stream. Talk shows, right? Welcome to the third episode of the podcast. I think it's the third one. That's why I titled it. Talk shows and podcasts? Yes. Got it. Let me make sure I titled it that. I might have accidentally oh, titled dude. it the fourth Hold on. one. We got to cancel because Seeker 227 underscore mystery team just went live. We can't oh, miss shit. this podcast. Yeah, I'm, I mislabeled the podcast. That says episode four. Whoops. One episode three, my guy. Yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm ready for the next one, I guess. Is this kind of variety streaming or no? I mean, kind of. I just put in talk shows. Okay. Uh, I need a title. Oh, it's a required. Um, Gotta make sure my audio. This is. Can you hear anything else other than my voice? I hear a little bit of background. Nothing bad. All right. Well, as long as it's not too loud. If it gets too bad, I'll just uh. Just go punch someone in the face. Yeah, I'll go monkey punch a kitten or something. Yeah, a kitten definitely. Right. Okay. Start. Go live. All right. Well. Oh, I can change the title here. That's annoying. That it makes me do that again. What? Change the title on my Twitch channel. Now I gotta do it over here too. Oh no, it should change it automatically on Twitch. Yeah, I know. No, I already did that. Oh, now I gotta do it here. Big dumb. Who the fuck is Agaki? Yeah, I couldn't fucking tell you. They're playing Destiny too. Good for them. Uh, confirm and go live. So this is much easier. This is like compared to what I've been doing, it was like primitive fucking technology, yeah. man. Like like regular OBS is kind of like ridiculously ass. primitive technology. I mean, it's, OBS it's like updates like once every few years. Like <laughs> that's what it feels like, honestly. Because from what I was using compared to this, it's like I had just invented the wheel while you were going into hyperspace. <laughs> I mean, dude, that, that version of OBS has been live for, like, a long fucking time. Aside from, like, minor fixes and shit, it's always looked the same. It, it It's not good. That's all I yeah. can say. It's not good. I mean, this is actually using the same source code. That's why it sells OBS in the name. It's been not suck. Oh, so it's just basically just, uh, we took this and made it better. Yeah. You're welcome. There's less work. They, they, they do all the legwork for you. Okay, so, yeah, that, I mean, that's... Kind of the problem I was having with OBS was I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. I had nobody helping me because nobody else knew what they were doing because they were all like, oh, I just use Streamlabs. And nobody really understood most of the shit. Like, the lingo is kind of weird, too. Like, like it's all it's all very technical. Not, not, nothing very yeah. simple. It's, it's kind of like going into Linux instead of Windows for the first time without having yeah. any help. Because, like, Linux yeah, is balls if you don't know what you're doing, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know what you mean. I had a... I in high school, I had a, my astronomy teacher would wipe computers clean and replace them with Linux. Oh, I was God. Like, I would like that, but I don't know Linux, so I'm okay. going to pass. Personally, even though I understand Linux is better, and I'm like a huge tech person, so I should prefer Linux, but I don't. Just because it, it's kind of like using regular OBS. You can probably yeah. do more stuff, but it's going to take you a few days to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's more as long as you know what you're doing. Yeah. All right, okay. well, um, I think we're I guess, ready. guess we'll get to the first article. Uh-huh. Um, this um, one, go ahead. Just so you know, like, I have not read up on many of these. I just kind of found them. The title was interesting, so I added them. <laughs> I hope you're not assuming I already have. I mean, I haven't. I literally just posted them a little bit ago, so I assume that you haven't. But the first oh, one haven't. that I really want to talk about that looks really interesting to me, and I've, I've read a little bit on is uh tomb raider is getting review bombed like as in bad yes um and uh, actually the, the tagline underneath the article literally says the game is good by uh, by the way but never pre-ordering a square enix game ever again wow jeez um so people you know pre-ordered the game really excited for it, it only released like a few days ago right yeah well like brand new game yeah, so we pre-ordered this, and they're like, you know, you, you know, like paying full price for it, like you expect you would do. 
It just went on sale for forty dollars instead of sixty for the next week. Already, it was out like yesterday, wasn't it? Yup. Jeez. Yup. Damn, I thought it was. I, is it that bad? Like legitimately that bad? Well, apparently the game was actually awesome. Yeah. But, okay. So what was the problem? Well, it's sitting at sixty six percent of the reviews are negative. Fuck. And so it, why though? And almost none of them are because of the game. It's just because they all paid full price. Or they pre-ordered it, and then okay. immediately after they discounted to forty dollars, and I kind of understand that, but at the same time, it's the same argument that they that like, what was that game? What? No Man's Sky. No, no, they had like the live action cutscenes. Quantum Break. Oh yeah, dude, I love that game. Okay, so Quantum Break had controversy, and I was on the other side of this one, so that's why I, I'm kind of on Square Enix's side on this a little bit. I feel like the discount already is kind of shitty. Um, right. Especially being that heavy. Give it at least a week. So I, the people that pay, paid full price can at least say they got to play it a week early. But, uh... No. Um, Quantum Break, when it released... they When they were still in the works on Quantum Break... Windows was trying to do their whole move to start putting more games on PC that they're putting on Xbox. So what they did to try to get PC users to download the Windows Store and start using the Windows Store is Quantum Break was going to be free on the Windows Store for, like, forever. So it wasn't just like a one-time giveaway. It was going to be 100% free on PC. Well, apparently Xbox users bitched about it so much that they went back on it, and now it's full price on PC. So the reason why I'm... Obviously, I'm a PC player, so I'm kind of on that side... But to me, it's like, okay, like, I get, you know, you're you're not getting the game for free. Other, other people are, but why ruin it for them? And it was just a thing Microsoft was trying to do to make a bigger move onto the PC platform. But it blew up in their face because their biggest fans are the Xbox players, and they weren't happy about it. You dead, Costello? I believe Costello has died. I can't podcast by myself. I'm not entertaining. Um. But yeah, apparently, up until this sale, it's only had good reviews. It was doing like really well on what is it? I'm trying to, I'm trying to look at this. Yeah, so it, it got I got the mostly positive rating on Steam. Um, and then immediately after this discount, it went from mostly positive to what is it at now? Let me hop on Steam and check this out. Because I apparently sixty six percent are negative, and I think that would be in either just the mostly negative category or just completely a negative. Okay. Um. You back? <laughs> yeah. What happened there? Did you shut off? Oh, that's good. Yeah, uh, let me let me get straight, let me set back up again. Okay, I just looked at it. Uh, Tomb Raider is sitting at mixed now. Okay, that's good. So the only complaints is that it was a sale. That's no reason to vote a game down. That's just, I mean, you paid for it. Deal with it. Fuck you. Yeah. I mean, that's not to say that's a good practice company should have. I'm just saying, don't rate the game bad just because the company just gave it a decrease in price that after it came out um i can kind of agree with what well, i'm looking at some of the reviews for i can kind of agree with this guy a little bit um because if you pre-ordered it you got like a discount for the season pass and the guy said that nothing from the season pass is even released yet and they're already doing the discount i can kind of understand that like it maybe wait till you at least release some kind of dlc or something i don't know you know fair enough but there's in no way should you be downvoting the game is all i'm saying yeah, I agree. If it's a good game, it's a good game. I, I don't believe in review bombs. But apparently uh, GameSpot even said that, and I quote, it was just plain obnoxious. I can imagine. And like all these negative reviews are even saying the game is great, the company sucks. <laughs> okay, well, here you go. Again? Square Enix. Square Enix is a great company, though. Yeah, I love Square. Um, although they almost ruined my fucking Final Fantasy, so fuck them now. Uh, Final oh, Fantasy 15. Shit. If Final Fantasy 15 didn't sell well, that was going to be the end of the series. Um, but of course, it sold amazing, so. 
Everything I just created has been deleted. Oh shit, on OBS? Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah. Fuck me, dude. Are, like, are you sure about that? Yeah, it's. I just have three of them. I have my art stream, my testing, and my Monopoly stream. I don't have just the uh, Nutbox stream. It's <laughs> you, all gone. Well, I guess you can go live and start piecing it together while you're live. I don't... Uh. I, I mean, I don't want to see people people seeing what discords I'm in, but yeah, I hear you. <laughs> oh my god. But one guy here actually has a, has a legitimate complaint after four hours into the game. It looks like he actually stopped playing as he's still sitting at four hours. It said, my save file got corrupted when the game crashed. I lost four hours of progress. Oh no. And it looks like he just he just didn't go back, and I can't blame him. Like, I've had games where I like lost all my save data. I'm like, fuck this. Like... <laughs> I don't think I've ever had that issue before. Okay, my biggest one is kind of bad. Because I've been playing the Pokemon games throughout my entire fucking life, and then the I end up like... You dabble in the mans? Oh, I've been in the mans. Um, but no, I've been in it like my entire fucking life. Yeah. And uh, Oh wait, hold on, Yoshi just messaged me. Is that a hold yes? On. He said no. Duh, of course. <laughs> um... But I transferred all of my shit up and up every game, as for, you know, except for some here and there. Um, all the way up to Pokemon Sun when that released. I have Discord on the wrong fucking thing now. Um, oh, shit. I forgot I can't do that. Um, God damn it, I'm fucking everything up. Jesus Christ, Windows, stop! See, this is why, we, this is why I need to go to Linux. <laughs> but no, Linux? I, I, I transferred yeah, everything up to Sun, and all my shit was on the Sun for the most part, and... All my shinies, all my rare shit, everything. And when I moved, I lost it. When you moved? I moved. Well, when did I... you move? Wait, wait, how'd you lose everything when you moved? Like, I moved houses, and somehow ah. my, my cartridge went missing. And I just stopped playing Pokemon for about a year. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, I, I was a little pissy about it, but then I finally got back into it, and I'm building my collection back up pretty damn quick. I kind of cheated to do it, though. Um, cheated? It's not actually cheating, but it's exploiting. Um, they did a virtual console, virtual console, I can't talk, release of the original games. On the original games, you can duplicate Pokemon. Um, there's a glitch for Didn't it. Didn't know that. Yeah, there's a glitch for it. They, didn't, they never uh, patched it. So I just got to the end of the game and got Mewtwo, and then I started duping him. And Mewtwo is like a big collectible thing. That's the only way to get right. Mewtwo is in that one yeah. game. Yeah. So I would just go on the GTS and upload it for anything that I wanted because I had like boxes full of Mewtwo's and I just saw I filled up Pokédex. <laughs> oh my god, dude. It's ridiculous. I completed like the first two generations off, off of just trading with Mewtwo's. So you're actually a piece of shit. Oh, I am. <laughs> But no, I, legitimately though, I've been playing it like crazy. Whenever I'm not streaming or working, I'm doing that. I fucking love Pokemon series. Um, I do too. And my favorite one has to be Emerald. Uh, um, I like Fire Red and Leaf Green. Well, I'm a little biased because I grew up with Emerald. That's the one I played when I was a wee lad. I grew up with Red and Blue. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's because you're significantly older than me, buddy. Am I? I don't know how old you are. You've never fucking told no, me. No, you're not that much. You're not that much older than me. Yeah, okay. I'm only like 40. Yeah, so, you, you know, just a few years. Uh, but anyway, um, I recently got the Omega Sapphire and Alpha Ruby or whatever it's called. Omega Ruby, Alpha oh, Sapphire. I actually just went through and beat that again because I got bored and reset my game and transferred all my shit before I did it. Right. The game's great. It doesn't yeah. feel as good. That's the only problem is it doesn't feel as good. I like the way of life improvements. Like, you don't have to go back and forth between certain locations. There's not, like, stupid shit you have to keep doing. Like, the, the, the simple shit from Emerald that didn't really make sense, but people just kind of accepted, they removed. They built the game from the ground up, and I really like that. Yep. I just can't really get into it. Um. Oh, what was the Pokeball? There was a Pokeball that was fucked up in that game. What one was it? Uh... Timer ball? No. Oh. I can't remember. There's a Pokeball that was fucked up, and it, it, I think it was like the netball. Actually, was made it oh. harder. 
Was it the netball? I don't remember. I have no idea. Whatever one it was, it said it made it easier to catch a certain type of Pokemon. Well, it actually did the opposite. (laughs) Yeah, I think that's the netball. Um, but then they also the fucked up something ball. else. Um, even though there's a sign in the game telling you that paralysis makes Pokemon easier to catch, there was actually a bug in paralysis that didn't do anything on Emerald. Oh, really? Yeah, there was a huge bug, and you couldn't like paralysis didn't make Pokemon easier to catch. It did absolutely nothing. Dude, it's fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> I always thought because because I never did paralysis. I was I was always kind of in the, in the sleep rather than paralysis because. I don't yeah. agree, just because legendaries are such a long fights and paralysis is permanent while sleep isn't. That's fair, but I could just, you know, I have a, I have an oddish. Yeah. Sleep. sleep. I, I'm actually and building a, a as well. I'm building a catching party right now, which is consisting of a octillery and a bisharp because octillery knows soak, and what it does is it makes basically, let's say you're you're electric type, right? Yes. If I use soak on you, you're no longer electric. You're no longer any type. Any ups or downs to being electric are gone. Really? Um, that's actually really cool. Well, the thing is, there's a tech called false swipe, which lowers your HP, but it'll never kill you. It'll never bring you beneath yeah, one I know HP, about false right? Swipe. Well, it can't affect some types like ghosts. Well, if you use soak on them, now it can. Oh, um, okay. So then I have Bisharp, who knows false swipe. He knows like Shadow Ball or something to steal some damage if he needs to. Um, I don't remember what his other attack was. He knows. Shadow uh, Ball is- the dark that's a dark right that's ghost ghost is what i meant whatever um, fucking... but then he I'm knows a, i know what i'm talking about i'm a pokemon i do the mans but no i taught him taunt because what taunt does is if a pokemon were to try to heal itself or flee well taunt prevents them from it doing would that hit them anyway it would more do it a... well yeah. no taunt makes it to where you can only use attacks to actually hurt the other user right um, right so then they can't heal themselves or flee and then the other one uh is this uh thunder wave which paralyzes them Right, I love that one. Yeah, I'm I'm still working on it. Like, Bisharp is level 100, but Octillery isn't yet. Those are Pokemons I don't really know much about, because I didn't... All I played was Emerald and Diamond and Pearl, and then I played a little bit of Fire Red. Yeah. I'll make it Ruby and Alpha Sapphire my favorite, though. Like, all the newer games. So Omega Moon. Ruby and Alpha Sapphire? Yeah. Sun and Moon just aren't that great. Sun. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of heard that Sun and Moon were kind of eh. They're fun after you beat them because the story just holds your fucking hand the entire time. Ah, oh, dude, I'm about to set up my fucking chat box again. <laughs> okay, so I don't know how we went from Tomb Raider to Quantum Break to Pokemon, but you know. It's kind of weird, dude. You were like, oh, remember we have Ace and Yoshi in here. Oh, we're going to be talking about a Pokemon. Now we're talking about Pokemon. They're not even here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even need articles for the next podcast. It's just going to be Pokemon, gonna be man. Pokemon, man. <laughs> <laughs> There's no escaping. All right. Check, I'm going uh, to post the next article. Um, okay. I'm not going to read it right now. Yeah. So this one I'll, I haven't... I'll listen to you. This one I haven't even read out on at all, other than the title, which basically, uh-huh. I guess Bethesda confirmed in Fallout 76, the Enclave are going to be back. Dude, nice. Um, and yeah, like it says here, like I, in four there was no sign of them, and it, which is weird because I I didn't play two, like it says here, but I played three, and in three they were fucking everywhere. The young play for the baddies, and then in four you never even heard about them. They were just yeah, no, four was just because uh, the only one I've ever played was four, and I played a little bit in New Vegas, but it was like ten minutes. Yeah. Um, but four was uh, boring ish. It was no, it was a lot of fun, but. Yeah, it wasn't the same. It just didn't. It didn't really feel like a Fallout game. It felt more like a shooter. Yeah, it was not the same fucking thing. Um, it was a lot of fun though, and I enjoyed it. But it wasn't. No, I had a lot of fun playing. But it was not. Going, oh, New Vegas is the best one ever. All right, you New don't Vegas... play New Vegas? Fuck you. New Vegas is fucking awesome though. Like I do like it. I, it's hard to say more than three because I fucking love three. I never played three, though I've heard mixed reviews. I've heard it's way too easy, it not as good as New Vegas, which I'm I'm pretty sure it's not. But yeah, oh, shit, my audio's off. There we go. But, it, um, it literally reset everything. Like nothing I did saved within the last thirty minutes. Oh, well, that's good. I also forgot to put in my Discord that I went live. I didn't forget to do that. I'll do it for you. I got a fam. 
Can I start doing that now? Just start posting it for I Go Live. Yeah. Seeker is now live. Wait, what? What? Discord, what the fuck? What's up, buddy? Discord, well, my phone is trying to correct nut to butt. Like, no, nut is a word. Butt God box. damn it. We're in the butt box. It's pretty hot. <laughs> but no, like, it says apparently the developer tweeted this image to see here, but it says that they reveal that the faction has a secret bunker hidden somewhere in Appalachia. Um, Appalachia. And I guess, whatever. Um, but I guess, like, it's supposed to be like their backstory, almost? I don't know. Oh, so this is like the rise of the Enclave or some shit? I guess. I really don't Sounds know. Sounds kind of weak sauce, not gonna lie. But they already said the game has no NPCs, so I'm guessing that, like it says here, they're probably gonna be a faction that you can join. Okay, wait, for Fallout 76, no NPCs? Like, at all? Yeah, uh, everything is done through dialogue, like, with recordings and notes and stuff like that. That sounds a little dumb. Yeah, the idea is that other players are supposed to be the interaction. Well, I kind of get it. It takes place, like, right after the bombs drop. No, I get it. It just seems dumb. Right. But the idea is, like, there's not many survivors, so I kind of get that. Yeah, but there's got to be some people. Like, yeah, it's some NPCs. They're, not everyone can be some kind of fucking Stark Raven criminal who's just there to fuck with everybody. Well, and you don't have to be. I mean, in the game, you can but, you can benefit a lot from helping each other. Kind of like in games tell like me who's Rust. not going to be. Tell me well, one person who's not going to be. Me. Well, that's you. You're like Mr. Nice Guy. I'm no, just I'm saying. The okay. people you, I would I play with, people I know, they will fuck you over because they can. They can, and it's fun. See, here's and the I thing. Will, if, like let's say I'm like really well, equ really well equ equipped, right? Uh -huh. I, I find someone who's not well equipped. I'll probably help them out because I don't want to be a dick and kill someone who's like not ready to fight. If I find someone who is well equipped, I'll probably help them out because I don't want to die. But if they're in that gray zone, yeah, I might kill them. Like, I might kill them. Yeah. I might. Well, I don't know. In the end, when you die, the worst thing that happens is that you respawn. You don't lose anything. I thought you did. No. That was the whole point. Um, the person who kills you gets paid for it, but you don't lose anything. Oh, so I get money off of killing people? Yeah. Okay, so it's GTA all over again. Got it. Basically. But no, like, you don't lose anything for dying. The biggest, like, thing is you have to respawn. Um, but what's really cool is, like, if someone's just fucking with you, you can just chain a server. And, like, you know, you can, like, make bases and stuff in this. Um, if you chain a server, your base actually goes with you. Oh, well, what if you just so happen to land on another person's base? That was my like... question. Like, what happens if the bases are together? Like, just, like, insert into each other? It's pretty hot, but... <laughs> They but, they become one one base opens up to accept the other base. My favorite thing though is the nuke idea. Have you heard about that? Oh yeah, I've heard about it so much. Everybody's talking about the I'm gonna nuke you, you nuke well, your ass and shit. See, as someone who's never played one of those games like Ark or Daisy or Rust, I actually want to play Rust. Um, I, I've watched a lot of gameplay on it. I watched a guy named Soup who just fucks with people. Um, I've seen people that build these ridiculous bases that are like almost impossible to get into and like. They have like 50 people and they're just like a fucking powerhouse. And if they incorporated something like the nuke into the game, that'd make it so much more balanced. Like, you have someone to build yeah, a giant super. Do what? How many times can the nuke go off? Um, The idea is that you have to get it all, all like, was it four codes in order to get the nuke? And I guess the codes are really hard to find. So an individual player has to get all four codes. Um. Well, what, you take that into account that people will be working together, and once the first person finds the codes, oh, everyone's yeah. going to find the codes. Oh, yeah. Um, and you can, um, yeah, just get the codes like from each other and shit like that. But uh, they're going to like be randomly spawning and stuff like that. Like They're not supposed to be easy to get. Oh, okay, I think good. I think they even have like timers and like, the spawn rate for them and all that. So um, they're just uh, always changing? Yeah, so you can bomb anywhere, but of course you can bomb bases to fuck people over. Um... But apparently after the nukes, uh, the place gets super radi radiated, and if you can survive in the radiation, you can go there and kill bosses, essentially, to get extra good shit. Okay, so, so like, even a code, like a code, if you kill the boss. Yeah, so this if... This doesn't sound like a Fallout game. Yeah, I agree, it sounds like Rust on Crack, but... It's, you know. it's more Elder Scrolls, isn't it? Kinda. Hey, look, Curry's here. All right, I'm live. Cool. But yeah, I mean, it. 
I don't know. Like, Fallout 76 still sounds like a lot of fun. I mean, I guess the amount of players in the world are going to be very minimal. Um, so you're not going to be running into other players a whole lot. Um, which is kind of a good thing. Because I'd really hate oh, to... Yeah. yeah. Well, unless I... you're in a group, I guess. Um... But yeah, I, I kind of agree with like not having a, a fuck ton of players because like I, I hate the idea of like trying to just get a fucking quest done and I keep getting griefed. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's. Um, Curry, we no longer do Jackbox on Sundays. Sunday ended up being the best day for us to do our podcast. Um, for everybody in the group, even though only two of us are here right now. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if Jackbox is going to be a guaranteed weekly thing now or not. Um, just because I, I mean, kind of get bored of doing it all the time. You at least Saturdays, man. Yeah, I might, but I hate guaranteeing it because there are some days I come home like, man, I really don't want to fucking do Jackbox. Well, it's all fine. Like last time you played Overwatch, and fucking nobody likes Overwatch. But yeah. um, yeah, you know, it's just it's it's fun to get involved with your viewers and shit. And I like. Oh yeah, no. I need, I need yeah. to. I, I'll probably have to find out a day I can start doing it on, but I'm not going to guarantee that I won't cancel it, though. Right. Just because, like, in the end, I'm going to play what I feel like playing. Curry said, fuck podcast. <laughs> well, that's the point. Okay, well, fuck you. How about that? I mean, anyway, that's the that's point. The, it's the uh, nut box. The point of you streaming is you're doing what you want, and people want to watch you, people watch you. That's how it goes. Right. So it's whatever you enjoy doing. I like Jackbox. I just kind of overdid it. Like when I, especially when I first started, like I got on that high of like getting these fucking people on here. Like, like during Jackbox, we had, like my first time streaming it, we had a full twelve people in the fucking game. Not twelve or whatever. Um, like we filled up really fucking fast. Um, and like I don't know, I, I really enjoyed that. But after a while, I was like, man, like it's just the same shit. But I don't know. I want to get back to it. I haven't played it like at all lately. Um, plus five just came out, and I kind of want to pick that up. Five oh. Jackbox five, right? Yeah. How much is that? Uh, no idea. Uh, Curry okay. said that he's going to fuck your ear. Oh, I don't I have mean, a response. I mean, I do. Uh, it is. Can you please send pics? If you ask nicely, thank you for following me on Twitch. Uh, Jackbox is Funny. thirty dollars, but it's on sale right now for twenty four eighty nine. That eyelash though is now following you on Twitch. You were following me last week. Why did I get another notification? <laughs> yeah, can you please send pics? All right. Um, so yeah, I guess it's all of it, like Fallout seventy six shit. I mean, I I'm excited for it just because I'm a Bethesda fan and they're they're doing something multiplayer and I'm gonna support that, but I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be into it. I still plan on picking it up and probably streaming it more than likely. Yeah, I'll watch you stream it, but I'm not sure if I'm actually ever gonna pick it up soon. Yeah. By the time I get it, the servers will probably be all like, ah, oh, this is boring. We're gonna fuck with you now. Yeah. I Which the same, is all well and good. I at the same time, like I enjoy fucking with people. Like that's one of the reasons I want I want to pick up Rust because I'm not into those kind of games. I'm not into Rust. I want to pick it up because I want to fuck with people that take it seriously. It's hilarious. Well, I'm sure it's gonna I'm sure it's gonna be very different than Rust because Rust is kind of like hardcore crafting elements and shit too. Yeah, that's true. Like building a gun in Rust takes for fucking ever. Yeah, although it's easier just to fucking find one. Or just, like, run at a guy with a rock and beat him, and whenever he kills you, just find him again and keep beating him until he finally dies and take his fucking gun. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um, so I guess we're gonna move on to Canada. Wow, Canada. My yeah. favorite. Isn't that the best? Uh, Canada's the out of pot. Part. They're out of pot. They made it legal, and then they ran out. Yeah. Anyone I surprised? You shouldn't be. Yeah, I think it's actually kind of funny because I guess they made it legal, but they didn't like plan for the fact that Canadians are all potheads. Man, it's Canada. What they don't plan. I ever. don't care where you're at, man. Like, if you legalize pot, you're, you're gonna have a shortage problem unless you plan it out a few a few years in advance to start getting ready. Like, 
Um, but I guess they're like getting police called everywhere to try to deal with like long waiting lines and people getting pissed off at the fact that they don't have pot and like. Why well, do you, you get, can't make like, something that like pot is some everybody's been after. Everyone's at least tried it. Well, most people, not everyone, but most people have tried it. Most people want to try it. People do it, legal or not. You make something that big and that much used legal, you need to have a plan. Otherwise, it's just not going to work out. Otherwise, you're obviously going to run out. Like, it literally just fucking happened. Well, you the, cannot do that the without thing is, a backup plan. The thing is, they're also selling the seeds and shit like that. Because according to this, that you're allowed to carry up to 30 grams on you. And you're allowed to uh, grow up to four plants in, like, per household. So... They're actually making it legal to grow too, not just to buy. Like cause you would think, big. you would think like only like licensed resellers, kind of like people who like to make cigarettes, would be allowed. But no, anybody can, which is kind of dangerous. But you know, I feel like their whole plan was like, oh, people will grow their own, so we, no one will complain when we're out or anything like that. But obviously, they didn't think about the fact that everybody wants some. Yeah, everybody wants some. Well, like what it's saying here is that, where, where is it at? It's just about 15% of the population um, was known to already smoke pot, which is about 4.9 million people. It's uh, <laughs> a lot of people, not gonna lie. Yeah. I mean... It, what does it I just say? I don't know what they were thinking. How do you run out of pot? I mean... In the first place. You smoke it like, all? I mean, I get it, but like... <laughs> I've never even so, considered that to be... I, according to this, they're trying uh, to awesome. increase production now. Obviously, and it says that they no have an, it says that they have enough funding to produce between four hundred thousand and five hundred thousand kilograms a year. Fuck me. Yeah. Like Jesus Christ, you think we have enough drug trafficking issues? Now that Canada's getting that much of it, like you know how, how much that's going to be coming down here. Dude, there's still going to be illegal trafficking even in Canada. Like even if it's legal drugs, there's still going to be people selling it on the side and all that shit. Well, I guess that's okay now. Like, it's kind of yeah, like it's, it's kind of like selling your laptop. The most legal thing about that is that you're not paying your taxes on that. Which, as I learned in, ep in economics class, is, is actually illegal. Selling your laptop is illegal. If you sell something to somebody else, you're supposed to take taxes out. <laughs> so I've been doing illegal trading. Yep, for a it's while. it's actually considered a black market. Oh, shit. <laughs> I've got my own black market, y'all. Either that or my economics teacher is on pot because he lives in Canada. That's also highly plausible. Yeah. Uh, I, forgot I, to, I don't know if I asked last time you were here, but somebody named Streamer Community underscore has followed me. I don't know if you ever got a follow from that. Uh, I don't think so. I actually haven't looked at my follows in, in quite a while. I never the really, name came up really dodgy, so I was really concerned on what that was. I don't like go check that out very often. I have a new one, apparently. I don't know who it is. Um, I can probably check here in a second see if it's the same person or not. Where's my chatbot at? Here we go. Oh, no, that was, an, that was Joel. Nope, no, they have not. Joel. I don't know, it just seems like who the fuck names himself at. Yeah. Kind of the big anyway. dumb. Uh, back to pot, I guess. <laughs> I mean, like, how do they not see that coming? That uh, an entire country that smokes pot would want to get all the pot once it's legal? You know, I don't know, man. You know what? Uh, is Zan online? I need to get Zan on here. Uh, I need to is hide Zan my... No, but Zan is Canadian, so I need ah, to hide okay. the Discord overlay for a minute so I can go to... Nah, my man, let him see. Everyone gets to see it. They don't need to see my private Discord. Yeah, everyone gets to see it. Sand isn't online. Nobody's online, man. That's why it's just you and me today. Where the fuck is Sand? She's probably at work at fucking Hot Topic. Hot Topic? Yeah, she works at Canadian Hot Topic. What is that? Like, everything Hot Topic, but less black? Uh, no. No, apparently Hot Topic is actually American-owned, and she actually gave me a pretty good story, I guess. Uh, someone came in there and bought a few things, right? And, well, because they're an American-based company, they're supposed to take American currency. Um, right. Well, they, like, aren't used to doing that, I guess. 
And they so they didn't know the prices. Well, no, but she had that go in the back and convert it, right? Oh, okay. Well, the guy like bought a bunch of shit and then gave her a twenty dollar bill in American. So she went in the back room and converted it, and his change was twenty dollars Canadian. <laughs> Dude, nice. <laughs> I would love to go into a store, give them twenty dollars, and then get twenty dollars back. Yeah. What is their what is the difference on their um uh, I don't like, know, is, but apparently is their money worth bad. less or more than ours. Well, evidently much less. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, but what, by how much? I have no idea. I mean, she told me that story probably around like four or five months ago. I never thought it was that much. Like, I look, I remember yeah. way back during school looking at the back of a book. It had uh, USD and whatever you call Canadian money, and it was like only like a dollar more. I was like, yes. Yeah, I mean, to yeah. be, be twenty dollars, well, I, mean, I can change. Is, is it goes up and down, but to be honest, like we're probably gonna start going down. I mean, probably. I mean, everyone is giving giant pay raises. Like Amazon has moved everyone up to fifteen dollars an hour. That's that's a bad. That's a big oof. Yeah, and they're making a federal appeal to raise minimum wage. That's not a good idea, dude. It, it actually kind of is. Seven twenty-five economics, but fifteen dollars an hour is gonna raise our fucking. Well, yes. Yeah, so if that was minimum, hell yeah, it would. But that's just Amazon who went up. But no, no se- for Amazon, sure. But minimum of seven twenty-five. Like no one can fucking no, live fine. off of that. Like fuck that. That's not supposed to be livable, though. Minimum wage isn't supposed to be a livable thing. Yeah. I get to go and do it, but you're not supposed to live off of it. Yeah, but I don't know. Like we're out where I live, if someone offers you nine dollars an hour, you tell them no, throw a rock, and where it lands is hiring ten. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> So hearing seven fifty or seven twenty five or the hell the minimum was, I already forgot. That's just fucking no, man. Like, I I would it would be a fucking challenge to find someone out here who pays that little. That's I mean, I don't know very many that pay that little for where I am either. I think like the lowest I've seen was eight. Yeah. But then again, I don't go around asking stores what their minimum wage is so all right so the next one i want to talk about i've only read the headline to and it made me like laugh my ass off at work let me find it on the discord then um let me type this up real quick oh apparently my laptop crashed because i little did i know the plug for it was not plugged in this whole time and it was draining battery (laughs) jesus christ yeah today is not going well for you no, it's terrible. So, the, the, name, the name of the article, so you can understand why I left my ass off at work. Mm-hmm. A Southwest flight made an emergency landing after an in-flight case of non-consensual footsie got out of hand. Uh, what? Yeah. And how? Uh, apparently a 29-year-old dude from Texas, obviously. Where else would he be from? Fuck, named- this is me, isn't it? Named Justin Brafford, B R A F F O R D, Brafford, Brafford. Yeah, I don't know. He sounds like a pedophile. <laughs> Let me pause my oh. capture for a little bit. It says that he has been charged with simple assault and intimidating members of a flight crew because things got out of control. How out of control did things get? Uh, I don't know. I am yet to read it. I've been glancing over it. Um. It said that he was sitting next to a woman who he decided he really needed to play footsie with. Um, let's see here. How badly uh, do you need to okay, play the, footsie with someone? The woman didn't say this, but it's what the article says. It says, uh, Dear Lord, I'm trapped in this flying hunk of metal with nowhere to go, and this weird dude just keeps rubbing his feet on mine. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, but it said that it got worse because uh, Mr. Bradford uh, started going into verbal harassment. Um, and she started looking uncomfortable. Um, uh, I guess he eventually warned her and said, "Don't fuck with me." Yeah, and, I would. I would too. Someone started tickling yeah, my feet. Yeah. Well, I own. guess a flight attendant came to the woman and offered to switch seats, so she went and sat like in a flight attendant seat. I guess. Right. Um. I guess he. Hey, going- red coat. Uh, doing great, man. How are you? Sorry to interrupt. Oh, you're good. Um. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. But no, apparently he got a little mad about that and like got up and went to her seat and started yelling at her. Oh God. Um. But, okay, that's like that's that's terrible though. Like, 
Yeah, so I guess the pilot got a little little spooked and decided to change flight so they can land in Albuquerque, it says. So the police could escort him off the plane. So he got <laughs> arrested. Yeah, well, according to the police, it was because he was on drugs. Ah, uh, okay. Um, but apparently he claimed, uh, Mr. Bradford claimed, that he was actually receiving calls from God. <laughs> Um, oh, it says it was heroin. Okay. Oh, black car it's, or just heroin? It just says heroin. It says he was overdosing right. on heroin over the weekend. If he was overdosing, he'd be dead. People overuse yeah. the word overdose. God. Yeah, people do. Overdose means you're either very, very sick or very, very dead. Yeah, overdose does not mean that you did drugs and ex- to an excessive amount. Overdose means they did it to an excessive amount, and now you're dying. Oh, God, dude. Okay, how do you Holy get a plane f- while you're high off heroin? Man, TSA, man. Uh, start tickling the shit out of someone's feet. <laughs> hey, can I Jeez see your feet? Jesus Christ. You got a pretty mouth for a man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, dude. Nice red coat. How was that? Uh, but apparently he's facing up to 20 years in prison and a yeah, two, $250,000 fine. I don't know about the the audio issues. My uh, My mic and probably my voice isn't very loud. Uh, I need to get my own microphone. Is what I need to get, but probably. I could probably just make us more even if I have to. Is someone too loud? No, it's um. I mean, your mixture's fine. Like you're at, you're just at the green, and I'm barely there. All right. Yeah. Um. It's it's my own fault. I'm I I'm not great with audio, so. Yeah. Right. Anyway. But, uh. I actually heroin. know this, but apparently, <laughs> all right. Uh, heroin. <laughs> um apparently like fucking with flight attendants is actually a federal offense so no definitely uh because you're putting lives in danger at that point so what no <laughs> what no you're not like defying all walls of fucking physics i uh, taking this giant heavy piece of metal up in the fucking air that's super pressurized you know it's fine just do whatever the fuck you want yeah, go tickle a pilot's feet. You'll be one hundred percent fine, I'm sure. Yeah. Just well, t- tickles armpits. It's more fun. Heroin, man. I mean, it's a hell of a drug. Fucking Texas, man. That's the drug. Dude, <laughs> Texas is the drug. That's some Florida man shit, dude. But I mean, it has to be the worst thing ever. Being twenty nine years twenty nine years old and still living in Texas, like. <laughs> fuck you. All right, just fuck off. <laughs> There's certain lines we don't cross, all right? I'll cross what the fuck I want. Cross as, your lines. As long as you don't cross that border outside of fucking Texas. Yeah, don't come in here trying to mouth your shit off, man. I'll, we all carry guns, all right? Legally. It's like uh, a legal law. You, hey, you not I, even have a gun I approve Texas, of the fact wrong. that you guys actually use the fucking... Uh, the fucking... Uh, what's you the fucking... robotic for me. I can't think of the word. Yeah. I approve that you guys execute people. What the fuck am I looking for again? Hold on. You're getting robotic for me. That's that's pretty hot. Yeah, one sec. Let me see what's going on here. See my connection is the problem. What am I on? Yeah, okay. So that would be the problem. All right. Should be good. Go ahead and... No, I was just saying that I approve of the fact that you guys actually execute people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, like... Uh, there's lethal th- injection's a thing here. Yeah, and it is pretty much everywhere, but, like, you guys don't have long waiting lines. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it's right away. You're done. Yeah, like, hi, welcome to Texas. Don't... Don't do something don't, stupid. Don't be bad. Yeah, like... We, you... we have things for that. Yeah, we saw you litter back there. We're getting the needle ready right now. <laughs> Pretty, I mean, yeah, man, that's that's kind of it. Uh, you murder someone, you're gonna you're you're dead too. That's just how it goes. Just saying, so you, get, I, you guys would probably get more tourists if you did like public hangings instead. Dude, I would love if that was a thing. <laughs> just <laughs> as bad as that oh. is, oh my god, I would go to any state if they just started doing public hangings all of a sudden. Yeah, I mean, welcome to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> We'll just uh, we'll just insert Western law. I have actually never been to your state, and I'm happy for that. 
Dude, I love my state. I, I, I don't love mine. I live in a state of fear. What? <laughs> I live in a constant state of depression. Ugh. All right. So this next one um, is about a game I don't really care for, but right. pretty great. Uh, oh, wait, what? I didn't read this article. Which one is this? Uh, Counter-Strike um, Professional was caught cheating in the middle of a fucking tournament. <laughs> oh, no. Ugh. So apparently he had something installed on the computer. Well, understand these are actually computers. Wait. Generally, Yo, old Bob, am I right though? They don't God take these with it. them, do they? No, I'm unless I'm unless I'm incorrect about this specific tournament. Usually, nice the computers are there waiting for them. Right. Yeah, that's what I thought. They didn't. How do you so, get away with doing that? Well, I how I would do it is they make the, they make these little micro USB flash drives. Oh, undetectable, kind of like real sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, and they, they, you. and they don't even necessarily need to get to the computer itself. If they have a keyboard, anything like mine, or they're using Asus monitors, usually have this too. They'll actually have USB pass through. So, like, I, there's oh. a USB port on my on my keyboard that acts the same as plugging it into my computer. Oh shit! So if I wanted to cheat, I would see what kind of key, what kind of monitor or uh, keyboard we're going to use. I'd buy one of those micro, you know, like stealth USB sticks and put that software on there. Dude. So he could macro without anyone ever knowing just by Essentially. playing the keyboard. Damn, dude. But the the guy's username is Forsaken. Um, he's from India, so I'm not going to try to say his name. The Forsaken King? But yeah, of course. Um, uh, but I, I guess he was fighting against a team called Revolution. At some Great Asian game. tournament in Shanghai. Um, uh, okay. But I guess, more, yeah, I guess like the, onto that. I guess like the fucking officials were like watching him for a while, and they realized something was going a little weird. So they ended up going to his computer, and I guess they had to actually like move him away so he couldn't get to the computer because I guess he tried. Uh, he was like trying to delete it. Oh, uh, so he's like trying to get to the computer to delete the software he installed before they could find it okay no here it says it was actually his computer so did they just let them bring their own computers i guess what the fuck that's, there's a reason we don't do that for that yeah. very reason yeah i mean I like, that's on them at that point I like mean, they're just being just as irresponsible okay one thing i kind of i'm a little opposite on are like fighting game tournaments you never supply the controllers because the people when they lose they get mad and they fucking throw them <laughs> oh yeah 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 uh, yeah I saw the, uh, oh God, what was like forever ago, someone lost a fighting tournament. He practically punched the monitor they were using. Oh, yeah. I watch compilations of people getting mad at those. It's fucking it's hilarious. It's hilarious. It's always Smash Bros, man. Do you like bring the Dude, it is. controllers and they like beat the fuck out of them? One guy put a hole in the wall of the building that they were renting out and they're like, oh, I guess he's paying for that. <laughs> Smash Bros and Street Fighter are the worst of them. Yeah. And one of my favorite streamers who actually made my first DIY for me, um, is a like Street Fighter 2 Turbo um, like pro player, oh. and he like every so he, knows what he's doing. he does a thing. Uh, he hosts a thing called Friday Night Fight Cade, and they like do tournaments every Friday on Twitch. Oh shit! Yeah, it's actually pretty awesome. His name is his name is Undead Kaiju. Uh, look him up Undead. on Twitch. Oh, I think I've seen him in your uh, chat every now and then. Yeah, he's fucking awesome, man. Um. But no, apparently he was using aimbot, of course. I mean, what else would he use in Counter-Strike? Yeah, what, what else would you use? I mean, there are a lot of other hacks you can use, like being able to like see through walls and shit, but that would be noticed immediately. That's just... Is he a professional because he uses aimbot, or is he, prof or is he a professional before then, and then just decided, ah, I'm going to cheat during this tournament? Um, I am guessing that he was professional beforehand. I mean, you'd assume so. Um, but, I mean, even a professional will want to get the edge, because you're playing against professionals. Yeah, but how fucking badly do you have to win or want to win? Well, apparently they lost really bad because apparently not only was their team, the entire team banned, um, but his team, uh, Optic, their, it was, their full name was Optic India. Um, Optic yeah. booted him off of the team. So they're still around, but they can't perform at this, you know, at this league anymore. Right. Um, but not only that... But the fucking, um, let's see, where is it at? Optic Gaming, who's basically their, like, mother, like, parent company, dropped them. So. So they're, they're just their own segment now. Yeah, they can't even go by Optic anymore. So their name is just India, God. I guess. They're, like, just, they're just India. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, they support the whole of India. But I guess they're looking into it to see if Forsaken should receive a lifetime ban from any CSGO competitions. I mean, I wouldn't say lifetime ban, but I would say stop being a little well, bitch. Well, apparently this wasn't his first time. Oh, well then yeah, that's a lifetime um, ban. It, it says, like says a third offense? It says back in 2017 during an ESL tournament, um, he received ESL? a back ban. Yeah, ESL is a big tournament thing. Uh, in Counter-Strike, it's like the big one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know that Counter-Strike shit. Um, ESL was big for Overwatch before the Overwatch League came around. <laughs> yeah. Overwatch League. What a joke. Yeah, ESL is still really big in the Overwatch community, but mostly for like the players that don't like um, ESL. Going, right. You know, you know, the Overwatch League, whatever. Dude, that reminds me. I saw Overwatch League on fucking the Disney Channel. Oh, God. Yeah, they were playing the whole thing on the Disney Channel. Yeah, now, now they have Fortnite on there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't doubt that. Like, I, Disney Disney seems like a very family friendly thing. Even the Disney Channel, I'm pretty sure, is like it's catered to people under in under eight yeah. years old. Eurogamer is fucking monetizing their articles. Not only does it like have a bunch of ads and shit, but at the bottom they have a link for the buy Counter Strike on Amazon, and I guarantee yeah. you that's an affiliate link, which means that if you buy it from that link, they get they get some kickback from it. Oh fuck off! Like there's no like way that's not. Money. There's no way that's not an affiliate link. It has to be. Yeah. Uh, that's ridiculous. That's honestly ridiculous. So I'm not in Counter Strike. No, neither am I. Yeah, I bought it because I had a friend that's big into it, and he, I played it a couple rounds. Like I can't do this. I could, I just can't. Uh, I the only game that I've been recommended to, or that I've been recommended to play on PC, uh, that I never enjoyed was Team Fortress Two. I enjoyed it, but it was also like my first like real. PC game, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So I was a little biased on that, but now I can't go back. The thing is, no, I'm probably gonna get <laughs> sorry. Fucking... I just saw something that we're gonna talk about in a minute. I I can't. Okay. Jesus fuck. I, I'm probably gonna be fucking trashed and tormented and all that shit for saying this, but I don't think Team Fortress Two is better than Overwatch. Oh no, it's not. It's back in the day. I mean, it was great. Like it's your only option, but now. Uh... And to compare them is all well and good. They are not the same game. No. At all. Like, a lot of people are like, well, Tori was just the engineer. I'm like, yeah, so they have a guy who lays down turrets. Yep, that that's that's the only... Uh, it, literally, the only similarity is the turret. Yeah, I mean, the engi there, it, it engineer... has three different turrets. Yeah, I was actually an engineer player when I played Team Fortress, and, like, he has a shotgun. And I'll tell you, it doesn't work at a distance. And Tori you can fucking fight from a distance. Oh yeah, um, definitely. Like the engineer can like lay down these like ammo things and like they, they like on these nodes that can like they heal you and give you ammo like while you're sitting next to them. Um, they don't have that. Like, they, no, it's not the same fucking thing. <laughs> That's I, but they I did. Can't. But they did still Hammond. He is very much just the pyro. Um. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ, man. Yeah. Remove Hammond. Just remove him. He's so bad. <sighs> Take him out of the game. Never put him back in. Give Junker Queen instead of Hammond. Actually, that's what everyone was wanting. Although, Every I'm, yeah, I'm no, not nobody lie. asked for the stupid fucking ball. Yeah, although when I heard Hamster, I got excited, but you know. I didn't. I, I immediately heard Hammond. And I was like, "This is dumb. I don't I, want. Stop it." Well, technically, his name is even Hammond. They called him Wrecking Ball, and there was a there was a legitimate petition that you could sign to rename him Hammond. <laughs> Well, that would make more sense. I mean, everyone else has, like, actual names. Well, I mean, Soldier 76. I guess Roadhog, Junkrat. But, like, those are the reason they have their names. Th those are reasons for their names. Wrecking Ball is called Wrecking Ball because he can play it. He can be a Wrecking yeah, Ball. Yeah, but it's a dumb name. It is a dumb name. That's what I'm saying. It's it. All but the other names are there for a reason. But Anna is just Anna. Oh, yeah. That's her name. <laughs> it's her actual fucking name. Yeah, well, close, actually. It's not quite, but... <laughs> The Americanized version. You know? Yeah, it's like the one one of my followers. Um, I cannot pronounce his name it begins with an M, so I just call him Mike. Right. <laughs> He's actually Mexican, but I I am not trying to pronounce his name, so I just call him Mike. I'm just like, this is your new name. Um. Yeah. So I guess we're gonna go on to uh, 
the the best thing that just made me laugh my ass off. Uh, you're going to want to go to this article. It's the Soul Caliber one, right? Uh, you'll want to mute it. So mute the page and then play the okay. video. Anybody in the stream, or if you're watching us on YouTube, you actually have to type in the link. I also might put it in the description if I remember. Um, there's the link. It's the bottom one on the stream. Um, bottom one on the stream. Uh, which one is this on the Discord? The Soul Caliber one. So, obviously, when you release a game with a lot of customization, people are going to go nuts. And I've been obsessed with it. I'm making a lot of shit. And uh, I saw your stream. Well, I was actually trying to make May, and it worked out pretty well. And this this kind of ties into what we're going to talk about here in a minute on the article. If you don't want right. to, if you want spoilers, don't click on that yet. So May on her back, she has that like pod for her ice thing, and there's uh -huh. a cylinder you can use. So I put the cylinder on her back, and I was like, "Hey, that's not too bad." But the end of it is round because it has uh, what's his face uh, snowball on the end of it. I was like, "Hey, maybe I put a snowball on there." So I put an apple on the end of it, and it looked like a dick. So, I got rid of oh. it. Well, obviously people are doing that. So if you guys want to watch that video, check that out. Um, people are making lizard men with dicks. I've actually fought one. This one is hyper-realistic. They did a really oh good job on God. this. Oh my god. And then all this guy does here is he, he goes down on his back and just starts humping the air. It is the best video I have seen. It's Oni Genji versus Dick Lizard. I mean... Oh my god. <laughs> You know players are going to start getting banned for this. They're going to, and I feel bad about that because this is perfect. Oh yeah, he starts this whacking. This is the greatest thing ever, dude. Then he starts whacking him with his dick. It, it's... Oh my god, this is great. I love the game so much. I want to so, get it now. My thing is, I kind of get the cylinder to work like that. Like the cylinder, like it, it's actually textured for this guy. Like he has like the scale textures. I don't know how he did that, and I've got to figure that out. Because like legitimately, not just for the dick reason, um, <laughs> like. Textures never looked that good for me, like when I was editing. So I need to get back like, to character creator and try to work better on this. So I think what he used, I think he used an apple, and because he can reshape things, and I think that's the heart he used for the ball sack. <laughs> so I think that's the heart, an apple, and then this is the cylinder, or it could be just another heart on the end. I think it's just another heart. Jesus, man, that's people are making I want crazy the game things. Now. Somebody, the game. somebody also made Thanos, and he looks very much like Thanos. And someone made Spider Man, and he looks kind of good. Can you guess yeah, what they that's did? What it, that's what it was on WWE. People would always make Spider Man and Batman and shit. Yeah, well, there's a reason they did Thanos on Spider Man. Have you seen Infinity War yet? Yeah. Okay, cool. If anybody here hasn't, it's way too fucking late. You should already have fucking seen it. Um, <laughs> it's been like two or three months. Like, go no, it's on the... DVD now, so you should have seen it. It's been on DVD for over like a month or two, so go fucking watch it. It's my, my fault if I fucking spoil something, right? Spider Man dies. <laughs> um, so... I think everybody. It's a meme, dude. Everybody knows Spider Man's dead. I don't feel so good. Uh, so I actually started to recreate this. It's not done yet. But Zoslamel, a character in the game, he builds will, will a giant scythe. He's really cool. Cool. It, there's, a, there's an attack called a critical edge in the game. Basically, whenever you use critical edge, it's like a finishing there move is. in the game. They're, they do a lot of damage. Um, Turn them into dust? Well, he hits you a few times with the scythe. Then he hits you um, one last time and turns around and snaps his fingers. Oh, God. And then you explode. <laughs> so, I don't have a link for this. It's actually hard for me I to find. I need a link for this. I need this, the sauce. All right, I'll see if I can find it. Um... Oh my god, it was so bad. Like, it's it's fucking great. It's not on YouTube for some reason. I had to go find the fucking article to find it. Um, but it it is just great. So I actually started to remake. Okay, here it is. I I started to remake him. Um, right. I'm, mine doesn't look as good as this guy's though. I'm gonna post it in in Twitch first. So there right. that is, and I'll go ahead and post it in Discord. Um, I'll just post it in general. Oh, okay. Um, Marvel Thanos. Oh God! Oh, it's fucking great. He just snaps his finger, and Spider-Man fucking explodes. Oh yeah, my uh, Opera web browser isn't opening up, so I have to use Chrome. Oh, why would you want to use Opera in the first place? No, this is the only thing I could get at the time. Oh, I've just never replaced it, man. Get off my ass. Oh. <laughs> But what do you, you use, alright? Fuck you. I use Google Chrome. Um, I actually oh. use three different browsers, but two of them I don't really use for much. Um, Chrome just I, uses up too much RAM for me, man. Well, I actually use Edge just for my uh, Twitch YouTube channel, and I started using Firefox literally just for my uh, Nutbox email stuff. 
Um, but everything else I use Chrome. And I just let the fucking ferret in here, and she's not watching her. I don't know where the fuck she is. That's an alright Thanos. He doesn't have the chin quite down, but it's pretty good so far. Anna! Come get this little rat. That's my favorite Overwatch character. The little rat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the little rat. I think his name is Wrecking Ball? Yeah, yeah, Wrecking Ball, the rat. The rat. They should really call him, like, something rat instead. Or something garbage rodent. Like, pile rat? Uh, trash garbage rat? Rodent. Trash rat. Anna, she's over here. Trash mouse. Ugh. Um. Yeah, I was going fair at the fair rat. Oh, I'm so stupid. I was trying no, to... Pe people have gone insane with these, like, custom characters. And, of course, this lizard man one is just the best. Like, I've... Uh, someone made a giant. D Dick Lizard is the best. Yes. Someone made a giant pistachio, and I copied that, and it's fucking oh, great dude, too. Oh, dude, I need that. You got to stream more of that because I was having fun watching it. I'm probably gonna stream it tomorrow. I wanted to stream it yesterday, but I also really wanted, I also really wanted to play Overwatch. So, um, yeah, there's that. But, but I'm gonna start. Caliber. I'm gonna start making characters on the stream. Like that's what I want to do. Hammond sucks though, dude. I would honestly like watch Soul Calibur because I, I I know I was like busy but I was still watching from the side and it looked like a lot of fun it looks like a really good game it is like it's my favorite series okay I say that out of a lot of things it's one of my favorite you series. do say that a lot I'm not gonna lie I do I'm great Cheshire how are you Although Elder Scrolls will always be my favorite in the end uh yeah I mean I was never super into that game I'm a nerd I'm forever, a nerd forever 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 is Bloodborne my favorite I I literally study the fucking lore. I'm a fucking nerd. You are a nerd. That's that is true. But I can't really say anything because I did the same with Bloodborne lore. And yeah, I'd say Dark Souls, but it's not as fun. I mean, Dark Souls your lore phone, your phone. is just kind of a lot of the same thing from what I've heard. R yeah, uh, kinda. It just you know, dragons are cool. That's the lore. So what I'm about to start on, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go ahead and put in stream now. Um, okay. This is Discord policy changes. Discord policy. And changes. a lot of people are pissed Connected off. To Discord, so I can link it as well. It should be in there. Oh, is it? That's literally what it's called. Titled. Oh shit! There it is. Yeah, you're right. Um, so it uh, a lot of people are mad about it, and I don't really know why. Well, let me read it here then. So, well, here's my thing. So what it says right here, it says it's supposedly meant to prevent frivolous lawsuits. Let's see here. Let's, let's go back. A small but important change in Discord's terms of service has big ramifications for the users. The social right. app's terms now include a class waiver, which would prevent participation in, in larger lawsuits. It's supposedly meant to prevent fr frivolous lawsuits, but if you want to protect your consumer rights, a simple email will opt you out of the policy. Um, it is included okay, so in, the issue? in the December 16th update, adding a small class waiver section in the terms of service. Discord... Um, and do you agree to resolve any um, dispute that will be brought to an individual capacity, not on behalf or as part of any, uh, for, I think, I don't know, class consolidated or representative proceeding? Um, the section notes that these proceedings will be handled by, and so basically what it's saying is that it's, it, anything small, you can't really take them to court over. That's fair, I'd say. Yeah, and people are getting mad about it, and they're freaking out about it. That should help. You shouldn't be able to. You, like, if it's something small as like, I don't agree with this person. That's not court worthy. That's just a waste of everybody's time. And here's the thing. In the end, it's Discord. How much personal information do you put in a Discord? Literally none. Yeah. Like, what if it's like a Facebook thing and they leak your inf and, and they leak your info and it has personal information? Yeah, I guess you want to take them to court over it. That, that would that would make a lot of sense. Yeah. But, but like, it, does Discord have like? all your personal details like they have I my have, email oh they have my email they have my steam and twitch that's about it what and, and I, my twitch is not even linked to my main email what if my email gets out there man like what if they happen to get a hold of seeker227 at hotmail.com and that gets on the internet what will i do <laughs> you use hotmail yeah i made it i made it when i, I made it when i was 12 <laughs> oh god i get somewhat spam because when i was 12 i signed up for fucking everything 
Oh god, you were you were one of those, weren't you? Oh yeah, man. I didn't have a computer until then, and I barely I wasn't even my own computer. I barely got to use it, but you know. But even so, yeah, says, I can't say I did that. You have ninety days to opt out, um, and of course you have to email them using your personal email that you use to sign up with, which um, makes sense. But it says the waiver did not go unnoticed by users. He raised concern on social media, like sites like Twitter and Reddit. Well, of course, Reddit. It prompted a clarifying response from the company. It says, I want to be clear that we're not doing this stuff to dodge responsibility for anything. Um, we want what well, we believe in doing right by you. We take feedback into account. Um, see the recent Nitro Classic changes. Um, the reason that there's an arbitration agreement in our terms of service is that there have been a have been a continuously increasing raft of class actions and firms that look for companies that are suspect of uh, sus susceptible to class actions and this I don't, is hard i can't read man <laughs> it's okay um, but i just don't get it now another big thing is like let's see at the bottom they just now launched a game store like steam they're trying to be the new steam and i don't That's really not. see not a good I, idea. I don't see it working out that well. Everyone's tried yeah. that and it never really works. However, yeah, Discord. Yeah, I've been noticing that. Yeah, but, on the homepage is shit like that. Yeah, but one thing is if anybody could do it, it's Discord. Because if you have Steam, you also have Discord. Yeah, that's that's the thing, though. If you have Steam, you have Discord. Why don't they just um, combine? Why don't they just work but, together? That would be. Well, one thing that they're doing, though, they're bringing one thing that consoles have been doing for a while and bringing it to PC in a way that Steam never has. Right. Um, PSN and Xbox One, when you sign up for their service, you get free games. Well, Discord mm -hmm. is doing that too. Yeah, but that's only if you're paying for the service. Exactly. Um, so we're going to have to pay for Discord as well. Essentially. Now, luckily, so, you, don't, uh, you don't have to pay for Steam, but you'd be paying for Discord. But in my opinion, so all, if people I. People will just use Steam. Right. Well, I don't have a. Well, you don't have to pay for Discord. You just can't. Yeah, no, I know. Oh. There's that Discord Plus or whatever. That's Nitro. Nitro. Um, that's a stupid name. Yeah, there are some upsides to it, but I don't know. Um, like, for one, um, one thing I like is that I can make my own channel and upload some emotes to it, like a private channel, and like put some dicks and shit in there. Yeah, and with, even with, then. Well, with Nitro, you can use any of your uh, other channel's emotes in any channel that you want to. Right. So yeah. I could go to someone's channel who doesn't have dicks as emotes to put some dicks in there. <laughs> that's what I was thinking, because there's uh, on the uh, art uh discord I, I like some of his uh emotes i was like ah fuck i've got to pay for this i've been i've been really on the edge of actually paying for about a, like a month or however the minimum option is because i really want to put in those fucking emotes because they're so weird yeah so there there is another thing um that i think discord will have an advantage over and it's something that i don't agree with a, a lot of people get mad that steam lets a lot of bad games on their platform and the way I look at they, it, they really, yeah, the, the green light system is kind of. Well, it's yeah. actually gone now, but oh, is it? Yeah, it went away like half a year ago. Well, but, I, I'm out of the loop, obviously. But the way that I look at it is, who cares? <laughs> who cares? Well, like, what I if get you, what you're saying, but what if you like that bad game? Like, fair enough. Then it's obviously it's not a bad game to you, or I guess it's a bad game, but it's fun. Right, but all games are objective, like. No, like, Digital Homicide, like, their shit. No, nobody enjoyed that. But, like, I don't know. I feel like just because you don't enjoy the game and, like, maybe it has, like, mixed reviews like Tomb Raider does right now, like, how would they go about getting rid of those? Like, Tomb Raider's mixed they, reviews, I'll get rid of Tomb Raider. Like... Fair enough, but that's the thing. They need to add a tighter system then. Right. They, they the, prevent them. You can't get rid of them, you gotta prevent them. Right, and they, 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 they do to an extent, but they do have a lot of issues. They do a lot of games slip through the cracks, like, very often. But I kind I of agree with it. Like, I, I have some games on my account that have bad reviews or, like, people will consider shouldn't be on here, and I actually enjoyed them because maybe I got them for free or even cheap. Well, for, well I, then at that point, it's subjective, not objective. Right, right. But at the same time, like, you know, I, I, I enjoyed it, so I, I don't know. Like, I, some restrictions well, are okay, but I feel like they're at a good point. Like, Yeah, no, I get that. Steam's at, a, Steam's at a very good point. Then again, it's some of the games are just laughable. Like they shouldn't even oh, be. Oh, yeah, I, I agree. But at the same time, it's up to you as the buyer to determine if the game is good or not. Yeah, that's the thing, though. You, if there was like a, a buy a money back system, like you you pay for this, you realize, oh, I hate this shit. Yeah, and you can do that. Been like, if you play, yeah, okay, so then yeah, it's fine. Then why is anyone oh, complaining at all? 
Right, so on Steam, if you play a game for less than two hours, you can refund it. Or if you've owned it for less than, I think it's a month, you can refund it. If it's been that's over, fucking, that's great. I think it's a month. I could be wrong. It could be like a week. I don't know. If you've owned it longer than that, than that time period, or you've played it for more than two hours, it has to be one or the other. Um, you can no longer refund it. Um, and okay. you had to have bought it on Steam. If you bought on G2A or Humble Bundle or anything like that, it's not out of Steam's pocket, so they can't refund you. Well, that's fair, because it's not their problem. Right, so it's like, I don't get people get mad at Steam for this shit. People get mad at things, people are always going to get mad. You can't stop people from getting mad. They're going to get mad no matter what you do, even well, if it's a good thing. People the thing is, mad. as much as we might not agree with it, I there are still a lot of people that get mad at Steam for this. And that's one thing that right. Discord has on Steam, because they're actually curating every game. If they don't enjoy the game, it's not going to be on Discord. Okay, fair enough. But okay, but here's the thing. If it's a game I already own on Steam, will I then also have to buy it for the Discord? No, no, no. Um, so if that's usually like not how things work on PC. Um, if you own a game on Steam and your friend owns it on Discord, you can still play together. Okay, good. Yeah, unless like Discord makes their own game, that could be different. I could see how, um, I mean, because I, I come from console, so I don't really know how this shit works. Yeah. Well, on PC, you really you rarely have to deal with crossplay issues like that. I mean, I'm sure it's happened here and there, but I usually if it's like let's say Microsoft released something to the Windows Store that you know they don't want you to be able to crossplay with, well then they probably just won't release it on Steam. Right. So your only option okay. is to do that. So if you have friends well, that play it, play it on them. fucking play it on the Mac. Who's gonna do that anyway? Right. So let's say like Red Dead Redemption Two releases on the Windows Store, right? Let's mm-hmm. say you start playing it and you want to play with me. Well, I, it won't be on Steam. So if I'm playing it, then I already have it on the Windows Store. Okay, so you can only get it from the Windows Store and that's it. Right. So more than likely, if like Discord starts releasing their own things, they're not going to be on Steam as well. They're, they're going to be just on there. Okay, that's fair. Um, so I don't know. I don't see an issue with so it. So where's the I, issue? Exactly. But like my thing is, like I, I can see if anyone's going to take on Steam, it's going to be Discord. At the same time, I really don't want them to, because I love Steam. No, no, I don't want them to. I want some okay. kind of convergence. Some, Steam... kind of, some kind of cooperation. With my, in the end, like I have invested in Steam. My library is sitting at 607 games. So if Steam were to somehow... Oh, I can go on the site. Um, <laughs> yeah, do it. Uh, what's it here? How much is my Steam? Um, I'm sure mine's like $10. Probably somewhere around there. I've bought. I mean, I didn't. I actually. I only got paid for a single game. I have. I, I've. It's been gifted to me only. My Steam account is minimum at two thousand two hundred fifty-five. Maximum at seven thousand eight hundred forty. Okay, so that's a lot of money. You've invested quite a bit of money then. Well, I didn't spend all of that, but yes, bundles, right. bundles, and shit, man. That that's how you get all around on fucking Steam. When you think about it, and yearly I have to pay for that PSN stuff. I could be spending that much on. PC stuff, which right is kind of ridiculous in my opinion. Like the fact that the sixty dollars a year goes towards something that something that I, I wouldn't have to use. I I, I wouldn't have to pay for. <sighs> you know, we're not going to get into console wars, but I still hate the fact that you're paying for to play online when PS Dude, when Sony doesn't host the servers. I do too, but that's the thing. Like, <laughs> like I have to deal with it. There are games like games like WoW, like you pay monthly. Well, yeah, because Blizzard hosts the servers. You're paying the people that host it. And I still don't agree with okay. WoW. I still don't agree with paying for WoW, but that's another story. But for games like uh, Warframe, I don't have to pay for. It. I don't have to pay for the PSN service to be able to play it online. Really? That's simply because it's it's its own, it's its own thing, and it's free. Like anything free. So far, as from what I've witnessed, is anything free, you do not have to pay the online service to play online. Okay. I did not know that. Yeah, no, it's, it's it's good like that, but then again, there's a lot of other games I play where it's not even their servers and I still have to play for it. Yeah, it's it's dumb, man. Like I remember back when I used to play Halo and it was free to play online. I was a kid, I don't have any fucking money. Then Xbox Live Gold became a thing. And I was like, the fuck is this? So, like, my only time I ever got to play online is if I, if I ever bought a game and in the game was a code for a free two days. Like, that's how I would play Halo online. Like, it, it was fucking dumb. Because we didn't have money. Like, my family spent that game well, for a while. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna see how much my Steam is worth. Sorry. What is my Steam name again? Is it Apex Senpai still? Uh, I don't know. Get disappointed in your life, TM. Yeah, that's not okay. Uh, it's probably Costello underscore music. Yeah, what does it get disappointed in your life? Okay, that's just okay. Never mind. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Yeah, that's what the thing says. Yeah, I've been on Steam for 5.7 years, though. That's a long time. Yeah, it's almost six years. Um, But if anyone's going to want to take on Steam, it's going to be Discord. We should have um, played something I've already paid for. Yeah, no, crowd, that's uh, red code. Yeah, that's uh, exactly. I, I don't want to pay for something I'm already paying for. We're already paying for the internet servers anyway, and we have to pay for something that we already bought, like the system we already bought. Why are we paying for the option to use the system with other well, people. Yeah, how much is the PS4 right now? Uh, two hundred fifty. So you're paying. I don't, two, I don't know. You're paying two fifty. You usually, like get like one controller with that, right? So you don't. You don't uh, think. I think I got. Yeah, I got one. Okay, so you don't, you don't think the Plus price of that. Okay. Um, but even forgetting even forgetting that, it's two fifty. Then you go buy a game for sixty dollars. So then you're looking right. at three hundred and ten. But mm -hmm. then you still can't play that game online. And in games like Titanfall, when that released, that was a fucking epidemic because oh people God, didn't that realize that fucking amazing well it was also online only all the people didn't realize that and they went out that and is true bought it. well there's a story um, mode which i nope not thoroughly first, enjoyed not in the first one now oh the first one you're talking about yeah first one had no nothing solo it was online only right um and like i don't know but like you get like a game like titanfall with it you're paying 60 bucks for it well now you can't play it online like now you have to pay another 60 to be able to play <laughs> online and it's like yeah you get some yeah, free games with like it for 12 months like here's my thing, I would rather spend. I would rather spend sixty dollars and get two games that I want than spend sixty and get four games that I don't want. Yeah, that's fair. But that, yeah, and and PSN's only been driving up their price. It used to be fifty dollars a year, now it's sixty. Yep. And they've been trying to make it more fair. And yeah, the campaign, online only thing, yeah, that's fucking ridiculous. Titanfalls was kind of a mess. And it was a good game. It's just unfortunate the way they had it. Yeah, it, it got uh, such bad reviews, like the first one, because of like a lot of controversial issues. Um, and there was no reason for it to be having negative well, reviews. I'll put it this way. The fact that it was online. I'll put it this only. way. Um, about three weeks or so after it released, I bought it on my Xbox for $2. Two dollars. I went on King One where you can re, where you can buy like a week keys. after release. Two weeks. Two, two weeks. Okay. Two, That's two still, or, I mean, two or five dollars. It, it was yeah, it was shortly GTA after. It's worth fifty still. Yeah, I paid like two dollars and some odd cents on King One. It's basically just like rebuying like keys. It's like a gray oh. market. Some of them are like stolen keys and shit, but a gray market. <laughs> yeah. Well, they call it that because you don't know if what you're buying is legitimate or not. Uh, right, and if you um, pay for it and it's not legit, and you don't even get the game out of it. It's your fault. Well, actually, you kind of do because uh, King One and G Two A, you you pay a little bit extra, but you get insurance on it. So if the game uh, doesn't okay. work, they'll refund you. And oh, then they'll, uh, then they'll then they'll suspend or even ban the seller. Nice. Yeah. Um. Anyway, what was I gonna say? I was gonna bring up a point, and then I completely forgot the point because I started ranting. People are very much against those gray market sites. I am not. I'd say that uh, depending on the if you're willing to take well the if you're willing to take the it. risk, go for it. I mean, yeah. Uh, well, what's what's the big deal? If someone sends you something that you don't pay for, well, then you got the insurance. You're fine. Yeah, let's make sure when you buy something on G two A or King One that you fucking click that thing that says like the insurance. Like you might pay an extra dollar or two, but <laughs> no, what 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 is an extra dollar in terms of Satisfaction in a guaranteed well, service. I remember Elder Scrolls Online came out, and I'm an Elder Scrolls fan, so I wanted to get it. So me and two of my friends were going to buy it on G2A, and we did. It was really cheap. Uh, it was like a Tamriel, right. Tamriel edition, too, which is technically the pre-order edition, even though it, was, it had been out for a few months. Um, and it was Oops. on G2A. Um, so me and my friend bought our keys fine, but my other friend bought his, and it ended up being a bad key. Well, he just contacted G2A because he paid the extra, like, 50 cents for the insurance, and they refunded him. Like... So then, yeah, so that's fine. Yeah, didn't lose a penny. Like, oh, uh, good. Yeah, like... Other than the, other the insurance money, yeah. Yeah, like, other than the time waste, like, you having to contact him and all that bullshit, but, I mean, 
that's the risk you're getting for getting a game for like 90 percent off <laughs> and i can see like if you, you spend 50 dollars and you spend an extra dollar for them and it ends up not being what you want you've sent the insurance money so you've still lost money in the deal but it's better than losing five dollars rather than one dollar right whatever Ugh. man people are still complaining. people complain too much well, fucking everything. That's what we're getting. This podcast's theme is people complain too much. Yeah, we're just And gonna... I complain too much about people complaining too much. We're, we're, can we start calling it the, the complain cast? The complain cast? The complain okay. box? At, at work, we actually made a joke about how I'm going to start a second podcast called The Diddle Report. Every the time, Diddle Report? Every time a, a, like, a famous person is caught diddling somebody, they get <laughs> featured on The Diddle Report. Dude, can we make that a segment? <laughs> the Diddle Report. The, can we please? I mean, hey, the airplane thing would have fit. It did. Well, this, I mean, this, guy a... dil- this guy dilled her feet with his feet. <laughs> that was so weird. Uh, the, the daily oh, diddle. There we go. <laughs> the daily diddle. The daily diddle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I think we're going to move on. We have only three articles left to go, actually. Um, which is really? Fine. I want to go back to Soul Calibur, so that uh, works. In about an hour in, anyways. This is actually a shorter yeah. one than last time. That's hour, tw- uh, hour 20. It's usually been around two hours, but we also don't have as much to talk about this time. That is also awesome. Well, last time we had, like, what, about a, a half a day of content. Yeah. All right, so... Out, oh, yay, and then we talked about Overwatch the whole time. Yeah. This one I wish I cared more about than I do. And there's oh, a yeah? very easy reason for that. So, there's a chance that I didn't press... Damn it, there we go. There's a chance that Medieval, um, an old PlayStation 1 game, I believe, is getting remade. And the reason right, I wish... Like the... Yeah, go ahead. The reason why I wish I cared more about it is because I've never actually played it, and I've always wanted to. Okay. Have you played it? Yeah. It, it, oh, dude, yeah, I grew up with PlayStation 1. Okay. Actually, I grew up with... I grew up with um, Plug and plays actually, but PlayStation One was my first console. Okay. Um, honestly, if they're remaking a PlayStation One and it's like the Nintendo thing, you know the whole Nintendo. Yeah, S, they're, they're uh, making that. It, that's exactly what it's gonna be like. Yeah, I and I, I actually have a PS One. I'd rather just use that to be honest. I'm all for it because I love my PS One, dude. I have so many memories and so much oh. fun having played that game. Actually, a that friend system. of. A friend of mine, um, his dad owns like a pawn shop in like South Carolina, and he went down there. They had a version of the PS One that has the screen built into it. Have you seen that? Like to the system? Yes. What? They uh, Sony and Zenith did a thing a long time ago that they put Zenith screens on PS Ones. There's actually a dude in my area selling one right now, um, and I want to buy it, but he's selling it with all of his other old game shit, and it's like three hundred dollars, and all I want is the PS One. Um, but he's refusing to part out, so I, I'm kind of fucked. Um, so you can't buy the PS1 because he doesn't want to get rid of it? Yeah, he's a little cuck. Plus, it's like an hour away, so... <laughs> Dude, um, dreading his life. I mean, <laughs> don't do that. Um, but no, like it has like a, a Zenith screen built into it, so it's basically like a portable PS1. That's actually really cool. Yeah. Because those things are small, dude. Those things are portable. Yeah. And I, he, he got it from his, his dad's pawn shop when he went to South Carolina, or North Carolina, or whatever the fuck it was. Is the controller connected too, or is it just no, it's, plug it, it in? And then... It's literally a PS1 with a modification, so no, you have to still have to plug it in and all that. Okay, but that's still really cool. Like, yeah. I want one. All you need is a wall outlet, and you can still plug it into a TV if you want to. Is but, that... and what yeah, because... What's actually cool is that the screen, like the thing that holds the screen in place, is actually round, so it fits like the disc thing. Does it have HDMI adapter? Oh, I doubt it. Because then, then, then I can't really plug it into a TV. I mean, does your TV not have any TV AV ports? No, I don't. Oh, that's dumb. Well, one of them does, but the the one I play uh, my PlayStation on, yeah, does but, not. But it's... you you actually played Medieval or Medieval or whatever the hell it's called. Medieval. Yeah. No. Oh, so you haven't played that? No. Okay, if you want to look at that link, um, yeah, I guess it was like a big PS One classic, and you like played as this like skeleton dude. It was like really funny, 
Um, from what oh, I've heard, shit. I remember this. Um, it also apparently had a game-breaking bug I learned about the other day. But uh, everyone, every everything uh, back then on PS One had a game-breaking bug. Yeah, That's... basically, there's like a part in the game where if you say if you sh there, there are like certain save points throughout the game, they're like really far spread out. And mm -hmm. one of them, if you save at it, and then you get off for the night or whatever, whenever you turn your game back on, your save gets corrupted. Yeah, some similar happened to that um, with the Pokemon. I can't remember which one, but if you saved in a certain city, it would bug out your entire system. Oh, damn. Or, uh, the game. I mean, you'd have to restart your entire yeah. save. Well, anyways, the game released in 1998, but at PSX in 2017, they had announced that they were going to be remaking it. This game um, is older than I am. Wait, really? Yeah. you fucking young, man. I, don't, I never said I was old. I was born in 95. I was old, man. You, I, I actually, you still have not told me how old you are, man. Well, you can probably work out that now but so uh, 99 got it 99 yes sir man i was born in 95 yeah so you're not that much older than i am well uh yeah i'm 23 now i just turned 23 dude happy birthday yeah like fucking i was two cheshire's weeks ago. birthday uh, a little bit ago too oh forgot to tell her happy birthday so no they had Correct. announced that psx 2017 they asked they were making it and then they just never talked about it ever again um, but I guess the PlayStation has a has a podcast thing. It's called the Blogcast. The Blogcast. Yeah, it's literally the title is PlayStation Blogcast Podcast. I, I why? I thought we had a bad name. Sounds kind of dumb. Not gonna lie. Like we're like they're definitely a bigger podcast than us, and they don't deserve it. Look at their fu stupid fucking name. Oh, so your birthday was yesterday. I figured. I felt like I was missing something. Um. But apparently, all they said that there's going to be a big update, but they don't like they're we have no idea what they're actually going to be announcing about it. Um, but everyone's hoping it's going to be a release date, I guess, which we can assume if they're calling it a big update. Um, well, what exactly is it going to contain? What do you mean? The update. Well, no, like they're going to update people on like the the remake. Ah, okay. Yeah, um, and they're Sorry, hoping that I they're going to spaced out for that. They're like they're hoping for a second trailer possibly to show what it's actually going to look like, anything like that. Um, but there's like so going to be more information on whether or not. Yeah, the center's okay. probably going to be saved until PSX 2018. Oh, that's why you went to the Renaissance Festival. Okay. Um. Looks like a lot. If you have things on Discord, I'll check them out later. That looks like a lot of fun. But yeah, um, fucking, I, I never played Medieval. Oh, wait, okay, so, like I said, big Elder Scrolls fan. I actually downloaded a mod that was based on this game. So um, there's a mod for Skyrim for Medieval. Yeah, and it actually controlled really fucking well. You actually took over as the main character. He actually looked the same. The graphics looked like the actual game, but better. Like, the voice cool. acting and stuff was on point. Like, it was really cool. I never actually beat the deal, like the DLC, the mod, though. But it was really cool, man. Um... I mean, that's that's like my it. only interaction with the game, and it was awesome. I, mean, I get it was still on the fucking Skyrim engine, but it didn't feel like it. <laughs> it did not feel like really? it. it. It felt like a different game, man. That's actually really cool. It's that's, like they I mean, just took the engine and made a new game. A lot of Skyrim mods are just, this is Skyrim with this on it, or this is Skyrim with this on yeah, it. Yeah, there's a Dark Souls mod that I played that was okay. No way, dude. I need that. It, it was... You have to stream that. Oh, man, I sucked at it. Um, I don't care if you're streaming it, and I'm forcing you to. My biggest thing, though, is that there's no direction as to where you're going, and, like, when you beat it, it doesn't go like, you did it! No, it just, it's over. Well, that's kind of what Dark Souls was, no, anyway. There's no, no like, direction. Well, it's like, there's, there's not even a quest that you get, so, like, after you beat, like, the final boss, you don't know if that was the final boss or not. Well, and what was the final boss? I don't even remember, but, like, me and my brother had to look it up to go like, where the fuck do we go now? And they were like, oh, you beat it. And it's like, what? <laughs> like, oh. it, like it, we didn't know. They gave you no I hint. Want... They gave you no hint. Dude. This was the end. <laughs> Dude, if I buy you Dark Souls Remastered, will you stream it? No, I have Dark Souls 3, and I got stuck on the first boss. I don't care, Dark Souls 3 sucks. I got stuck on the first boss. Dude, I, my first run was a naked run, and I fucking aced it. Yeah. Yeah, but you actually play those kinds of games. Yeah, but I'm not good at it. Like Dark Souls Three is no like one's the only good at it. Good at I'm Souls really 3. bad at it. That's... The only thing I could say I was good at Dark Souls Three was the PvP using Lucerne. Lucerne. 
Lucy, I called it. The, it was like a halberd. Yeah, I just... I have some friends that are into it. I just can't do it, man. Like, this is one series that I wish I can get into, but I can't, like... Well, I, tr I tried can... I tried with two, I tried with three, and I actually tried with... Have you tried Bloodborne? Uh, the first one I actually played was Demon Souls. Um, Dude. And Jesus Christ, like, I just can't do it, man. I I would like to play Bloodborne. I feel like I, that, Bloodborne, I feel like I can get into more, because it's faster paced. It's everyone's, uh, gets into it better. The, they, they, they take Dark Souls, and they get rid of the slowness of it by just removing the shield, and then everything's immediately faster. Yep, and that's the part that was interesting me the most, because the game was slow as fuck. Um, but the the Surge, uh, what, that's one of the reasons I was interested in that, is it looked faster. I played that one a little bit. I, uh... I got to the first boss, smacked it around a little bit, then was like, this isn't fun, and then I, I got rid of it after that. I was at GameStop the other day, getting the fucking Pokemon distribution thing, and I saw the Surge there for like 20 bucks on the Xbox One, and I almost got it, but then I remembered I can get it on my computer for cheaper. <laughs> I got mine for a sale. Uh, it was flash sale on the PSN, so I got it for like 50% off. Damn. Yeah, they have good flash sales. There's like 70% off on shit. I got Dragon Age Inquisition for ten dollars. So I picked like, that up. It's one of the first games I got on my Xbox, and I just kind of get into it. I loved Origins. I never played Dragon's Gage, Dragon Age game. That's just my first one. I did not know it was from uh, what's their faces that made um, Mass Effect. Yeah. Did not know that until I started playing it. One of my friends was telling me about it. I was like, "Hey, I picked up." Dragon Age is like, oh sweet, there's this and this. I'm like, oh, so it's uh, it's Mass Effect but medieval, and clearly it's not. Yeah. But, uh, but I'm kind of like in the same boat. Like, I need to play it because I feel like I can, I could get into it. It had it did really well review wise, but like Origins was good, and this is didn't feel the same. Apparently, Red Coat agrees with the Origins thing. Like, I I wouldn't know, but it's it's all right. Uh, tell like, Red I'm, I'm trying to get into it. What do I mean by tell him? You can hear me. Uh, Red Good is that his yeah. name? Red Code, yeah. Okay. Uh, I never actually beat Origins, and I'm sad to say that. Um, but I played a fuck ton of it. The game is long as fuck. What even is it about? Because the one I'm playing is you have a your hand is magical and it closes ma uh, magical bad things. I mean that's basically all I gathered from Inquisition. Two as a letdown, but Inquisition was also amazing. Yeah, people tell me okay. after like a hundred hours of playing, they're still exploring and they're still doing quests and shit. So I this actually, I forgot I actually played two, and I remember when I got it, I was like, this game looks fucking awesome. Like the graphics are a lot better. Like, and like an hour in, I was like, this isn't the same thing. And I ended up getting decently far in it, and the further I got, I was like, this is just boring. <laughs> like. If if we're talking in the form of color, Origins was like a fucking rainbow, and two was just like a big old gray. big old splot of gray. Yeah, <laughs> I hate that. That. But the Inquisition uh, Inquisition was like blue with some gray swirled in there to me. Like that's the thing though. Uh, what what took me off of Dark Souls was the uh, lack of color gradients. Now it had a lot of color. Like don't get me wrong. Well, I don't mean. I don't color, literally. Like... I'm not literally talking about color. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know I got you. Like the 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 gradients was just the difference is like night and day almost for uh, yeah. in terms of play style as well as coloring choices. Yeah, because Dark Souls is very bland in my opinion. The, the play style is very bland compared to the spoiling I've received from Bloodborne. Because holy shit, dude, it's I mean, so so different. Yeah, and it looks so much cooler. But then, actually, speaking of PlayStation shit, because Bloodborne is exclusive to PSN, right? Yes. Um, Thank God. What was that game called that looked really cool but flopped because the story was like two hours long? Uh, no idea. It was a PlayStation exclusive. Um, what was it called? Do races matter on Inquisition as well? Because um, they matter in Origins. I believe so, yeah. Oh, shit, I picked a bad race. Let's see here. I picked a really big demon girl, and her like, proportions are so weird. It was like a first-person shooter. And I can't really tell you, man. I don't know. 
I don't remember it. It looked really fucking cool, and I heard that it was cool, but you could beat the game in like two hours, and it was like a full release, and like, I was very upset. Oh, The Order 1886. Oh, yeah, no, that was on sale too. Yeah, yeah, I heard that one. People said they liked the game. It looked really fucking cool, and I wanted to play it, but you could beat it in like two hours, from what I've heard. And they were like, yeah, it's really good. It's not $60 good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's how I feel about a lot of games I've played. Like, Assassin's Creed Odyssey I, like, is average around like 80 hours to beat it. Like, that's worth $60. Like, uh, I don't think time equals money. I think experience. Well, if you enjoy it, 80 hours of enjoyment is worth $60. Two hours of enjoyment is not worth sixty dollars. <laughs> well, unless you really enjoy it, like I played. Uh, uh, I guess that game was free. Jesus like Christ! The fucking culturedvultures.com. It's where I found the fucking game at. Even they have Amazon affiliate links for these fucking games. Like, <laughs> they're <laughs> like, hey, the they're like, hey, look at this game, Frantix, or the fuck that is. Buy it on Amazon through our affiliate link. Like, Jesus fuck. I need to get a fucking Amazon affiliate link. <laughs> you need an affiliate link for Amazon, man. Yeah. I'm going to start fucking selling out. Start, dude, you start selling out. I'm unsubbing right. forever. Do it, pussy. You won't. Not even sub to you, am I? <laughs> I know. Um. All right. So I guess we're going to move on uh, away from PlayStation back over to um, Xbox for a short little minute here. No, this is fun. My my is, major source of uh, knowledge is DX. Yeah, Box. yeah. My multimedia package that isn't good for anything but games and only barely. This is more your territory than mine. So you yeah, I was more of a 360 fan. Yeah, me too. I wanted a PS4 over an Xbox One. The Xbox One was cheaper, so. I... Dude, we could be playing together. We could, but I like women. Oh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> All right, so Microsoft, I'm going to post this in Twitch. Microsoft has teamed up with Taco Bell. I don't know why. Uh, they thought they already, the PlayStation used to do that. What the fuck? Yeah, well, Taco Bell's a turncoat, man. <laughs> apparently. Uh, I don't know, but apparently, Go if on. you buy a double Chalupa box for $5. You'll be entered to win a special limited edition Xbox One X. Didn't PlayStation do that last year or the year before? Pretty sure, but this is actually kind of neat. So it's Xbox One X. It's all white, like you know most of them are. It comes with an Elite controller, which is actually really cool because they're overpriced. Not, if I'm honest, I'm not a fan of the all white. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm not either. Like, there's a reason all my computer parts are black. I like black and blue for me, man. Well, black and red. Fuck you. I can't do black and red, you know that. I know, Warframe. <laughs> I have um, bad history. I'm just an edgy boy. It's um, okay. Although black and purple is fucking awesome. Um, Dude, I agree. Black and, and purple, white and purple. And black and yellow. I honestly absolutely love anything white with purple trim. Although, I'm, I'm just starting to like white and red, which sucks, because like I hate buying white things, because you have to, I don't know, man, like, I can't have a white car, I have to wash it every week. It's hard to keep them clean, is the problem. Yeah, like, I have to take my car to wash every week if it was white. Like, my last one was red, now this one's black, and it makes me happy, and I never have to wash it. I, I, I <laughs> car. The white is all well and good, but... But no, the only real special thing about this is that when you turn it on, instead of making the Xbox sound, it is the Taco Bell sound. The That's bell. actually, I want one now. Oh yep. my god. See, I knew that would convert you. You're going to go <laughs> sell your PS4. <laughs> Fuck my PS4. I'm getting an Xbox. I'm going to go to Taco Bell right after this stream. Uh, but yeah, it, it's it's exclusively white, unlike the actual. Like, you could buy white versions, but this one's a little bit different, so it is, like, monochromatic. Um, comes with the Elite controller. It comes with three months of Game Pass for free and Xbox Gold. Um, if you don't know what the difference is, because uh, you don't do Xbox, Xbox Live Gold, it uh, it's just like the PlayStation Network thing. Like, there's no difference. You get the free games. Yeah, you, you pay, pay to pay it. online. Free. Gold uh, is pain. Game Pass. You basically pay ten dollars a month on top of that, and um, you get a few hundred games to play for free, so long as you're paying for Game Pass. That's um, the PlayStation View. But not View. That's that's the PlayStation. Uh, whatever it's called, you okay. can do the same thing both old games. Okay, so it's basically like Netflix. So yeah. you can, you'll actually get brand new games on there, like uh, the, the shitty game that came out, the pirate game. Um, oh, CFEs. yeah, the exclusive? Uh, CFEs CFE, yeah, actually people... on release day was on Game Pass. Um, oh. Right, so it, it, it's, it's kind of neat. 
But at the same time, like, the cycle game is out, kind of like Netflix does movies. Um, yeah. Wait a minute, is this gonna be a fucking Amazon affiliate link too? Oh, don't you fucking dare. <laughs> okay, for once, for once it wasn't. Well, at okay, the bottom, at the bottom, in the same fucking paragraph as all this, it says, buy the Xbox One console, currently at retail for four ninety nine ninety nine. I was like, it's gonna be a fucking Amazon link. No, actually, it, it actually links the Microsoft. Um, but it says that the console oh. will be awarded every 10 minutes between October 18th and November 21st. I'll be at Taco Bell for a while, then. Yeah, winners are expected to receive their consoles within 72 hours after winning. That's actually really good, but, it, dude, oh, if I could win one. Oh. Is it Taco Bell, like, right down the road? I, I will not use my console, my Xbox console. I will only use it as a gag just to say, hey, look, what happens when I turn this on? <laughs> okay, actually, um... The Xbox has a, has a pass-through thing, so basically you can plug an HDMI thing into it to hook it up to your TV. So, like, you can take, like, I don't know, a DVD player, right? And plug mm -hmm. that into your Xbox, plug your Xbox into the TV. And if you turn on your DVD player, the Xbox doesn't have to turn on, but it'll it'll pass the HDMI signal into the same port onto your TV. Well, a lot of people just use that for their PlayStations. <laughs> so yeah. they can share the same HDMI port. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Microsoft, making it e oh making God. it easier for Sony. That's actually really great. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'll use my Xbox for. It's an extended <sighs> cable. All right. So the last thing, um, if you have not played this game, either you, Gustav, or anybody watching, you need to. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever played the Stanley Parable? I've watched gameplay of it, and I heard that today marks the day of the five years of not playing it. Yes, so... Um, yeah, the achievement. Actually, that w that started on Wednesday, was it not? Uh, whatever, man. Yeah, that was Wednesday. Yeah. Um, so, essentially, there's an yeah. achievement in the game. The game has a fuck ton of achievements, um, because there's like over 100 endings to the damn yeah, game. It's not an Achievement Hunters game. No. Um, well, the issue with it is that one achievement, in order to get it, you have to not play the game for five years. And you also have to play the game for like a week. Yeah, yeah, you had to play it like for, uh, I don't know, it's dumb. You have to not play the game for five fucking years. Um, well, it has turned five years old, so some people are going to start unlocking that soon. I'm not one of them. I only picked it up about a year ago, so I got four years to go. Dude, I really want to know who the first person to unlock it is. Uh, well, there's another achievement called Commitment, which requires you to play the game for the entirety of a Tuesday. Yeah, that's the... I mean, who even has a free Tuesday ever? Yeah. I guess children, but... Oh, and then again, it takes like no fucking resources to run, entirety, so you can probably what like... What counts as the entirety of a Tuesday? Um, you probably have to start it at like midnight on Monday and end it on midnight Dude, on Tuesday. Dude, imagine if you're a few seconds off. That would suck. It's got to be like a, like eight hours at well, least. Well, the game the game is easy as dicks to run, so you could just like play another game while it's up and just do whatever the fuck you want. Well, and you're but you're botting out for me again. So apparently, seven point four. All right. All right, go. Yes. Am I good now? Costello. Hey, Costello, don't say anything if you like men. <laughs> gay. Well, I guess we'll continue to break the silence. Um, I guess 7.4% of players have actually already gotten the achievement before its birthday. So essentially, they're just convincing their computer that it's five years in the future, which is something pretty easy to do. Um, but now you can do it without cheating. I mean, unless you played it with sometime within the last like three or four years, and then you're kind of fucked. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of funny that it's finally time. Um, and I guess like the developer, like one of the game developers, actually posted a picture of the achievement online. It's actually kind of neat. Um, what was I looking for? Okay, so that that whole thing that you can cheat to get the achievement by just 
convincing your computer it's five years in the future than launching the game again. I actually used to abuse that on another game. If anyone here has ever played Fable, Fable 2 and 3 had kind of a bad exploit. So, essentially, it would use your console's clock in order to tell how far time was advancing. If you went and bought out place uh, like buildings, businesses, you can rent them out to get money out of them, right? So you can choose to live with them or whatever, but if you rent them out, you're making money off of them. So what you would do is get enough money to buy a couple businesses, then you save your game and quit. Um, in my case, it was on my 360. You would go into your settings on your Xbox and change your year to stop one year. Then go back into the game, and the game will act like your game's actually a year in the future, and you get all the gold that you would have got within one year's time. And not gonna lie, as a kid, I fucking exploited the fuck out of that. Let's check on Costello. Looks like... Oh, is, are you back now? Yeah, I'm back. That was weird. Um, everything just disconnected. That was... Uh, cool. I think my internet hit, hit a snag, but uh, we're all good now. All right. Well, I just mentioned um, that like some players had already cheated to get the achievement, 7.4% of them to be exact. Wait, how do you cheat? Uh, you tell your computer that it's five years in the future, then launch the game. Oh. Yep. <laughs> but now you can actually earn it legitimately, so people That's are still good. people are still going to cheat to get it. You know, couldn't let's go, you... Let's go ahead and check the numbers now. Couldn't you just, um, I don't know, um, do the same thing with the Tuesday thing? Just have the game open and then change the time at the same time, or would you have to restart the game for it to take effect? Um, I don't know. Go okay, here it is. Go outside. Okay, I actually needed to see global achievements in order to see that. So it's called Go Outside. It's actually, oh my god, it only went up, it only went up by 0.1%. <laughs> Wow, so only like one person got it. Yeah, actually there aren't many achievements for this game. I thought there were a lot, but no, there aren't. There's like No, they're just really hard. Yeah, there are ten of them. Yeah, but I, uh... I only have three. <laughs> okay, uh, which uh, ones? Welcome back, quit the game and then start it again. Uh, you can't jump, <laughs> no seriously, we disabled it. It's for pre pressing the space bar too many times because I constantly wanted to jump. And then beat the game. Yeah, there's one for like hiding in a closet. I'm pretty sure there's one for tapping yeah. on one of the doors. There's one that's called eight 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 eight. The description is just a lot more eights. I'm sure you press eight a bunch or something, right? Yeah. One of those click on click on door four hundred and thirty five times. Yeah, that's uh that one activates a voice line where he goes oh you think that's so easy it is you get an achievement here and it makes you run back and then come back and do it again and stuff yeah um there's one color achievement and the description is this this is a achievement <laughs> there's the tuesday one game, um there's one that's called speed run which is complete the game in under four minutes and 22 seconds whoa fuck um well it says that does not include loading times um, oh. The five year one is an unachievable, and it says it is impossible to get this achievement. Is it? Yeah, that's what it says. Well, I'll go back and see how many people have actually gotten it. Give me one Is second. that a PC only game? Uh, yeah, it's, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I was going to say for uh, PlayStation users and Xbox users, a game that has an achievement you can't get would blow our fucking brains. Uh, it has 1.6% of people have gotten it. How do you get it? Uh. Let's Actually, see. no, 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 no. That, that's for commitment. That's the Tuesday one. Why is it oh, okay. lower? Why is the Tuesday one lower than the go outside, the not playing for five years one? Is it? Yeah, it's at 1.6, the five yeah, years one. Was, I, well, I did read an article that's like that. That was the harder one. Really? I just launch it, yeah. man. Like, I can run it for a fucking week. Um, <laughs> well. Well, I, mean, I used to like run a Minecraft server for everybody for like months on end. You told me that, yeah. yeah. And you cl closed it down recently, and nobody said anything, so you're just like, fuck it. Yeah, I think I accidentally deleted it, too. Uh, let's not talk about that. <laughs> um, we yeah. Unachievable is actually at 4.4%, so... Yeah. Oh, sweet. I type unachievable, and it's the first thing that pops up in the... How do you get it? 
Is that what you're looking up? Uh, I'm looking it up, yeah. TheMuteGamer.com. Oh, you know, I actually got uh, a game the other day that I kind of want to play, but if I play it on stream, I'll just embarrass myself. Uh, I got Hitman, the new one. Ah! It didn't take long after its release on Steam until the first threads in the Steam forum appeared asking how to get this particular achievement. Sooner or later, a few people said that they got the achievement, but I had no idea how they actually got it. it. Took a few days more until people started reverse engineering the game and found out there's a special command hidden inside the game files which awards the unachievable achievement. Here's that code. Okay, you probably have no idea what that stuff means, but don't worry, I can explain parts of it. I'm not even going to try to decipher that because I don't know coding. You yeah. have to meet a few criteria. I have no idea what those criteria are, but they change over time anyway. I'll tell you more about this later. There's a random factor that decides if you get the achievement or not. Only 115 will get the achievement, even though they all meet the additional criteria. The magic command that gives you the achievement is this one underscore U. Probably the U stands for unachievable. Winky face. After they find this code, the users tried entering the command underscore U into the game's console, but all they got was a strange error. Hey, don't even try. As you can see, there's no ordinary warning, as this is meant that the users were on the right track. From here on, things got rather easy. It seems there's a special character in the source console which allows you to ex execute the command even though the developer of the Stanley Parable tried to block it. This character is the tilde. But once again, the v developer seemed to be one step ahead. The tilde character has been blocked from the source console. After the users tried binding the command tilde underscore u, the configuration file, but somehow that couldn't work. The reason why this couldn't work is that the game overwrites all of its configuration files upon starting. To circumvent this behavior, users started protecting the file from further edits by setting the configuration file to read only. After this was done, pressing the same command, the users finally got their precious and how I think well earned unachievable achievement. So they just broke the game to get the achievement. Yeah, I guess. Um. Dumb. But I guess that's kind of the point. I mean, yeah. It's supposed to be randomly got, I guess, unless you re reverse engineer. That's really interesting, actually. Yeah. Um, it's actually kind of like, did you hear about how Sombra was like announced on Overwatch? What? How oh, Sombra? yeah. It was, that people thought it was someone else, and then it was her. Yeah, well, like it made it pretty obvious that you had to hack into their fucking website. Jeez. Yeah, like they had a website that would launch. It was like a bunch of like strings of code, and it wasn't like the salt, like it wasn't had nothing to do with the code. You actually had to break into the site to get like the next clue. And like it was like a fucking like goose hunt around the fucking internet, like breaking into sites. So you had to know coding just to get like little hints on who the next hero is. That's actually really cool. I wish they still did stuff like that. Now they just shit out whatever they want, say, hey, it's a game, it's still having fun. Yeah, they're still like, having fun there. They're like, no, hey, we're gonna, here, if you want to find a hint for the next hero, go down to your local pet store. They might be selling him. <laughs> Fucking hate Overwatch now. But no, uh, uh. I actually got Hitman. I picked that up the other day along with uh, Hollow Knight in a bundle. Um, oh, did you? And I really want to play Hitman, but I'm really bad at Hitman games, even though I beat the last one really rather easily. But like, Absolution. Yeah. yeah um. Yeah, it wasn't too great. But my thing is, yeah, like, I, I love moves, stealth man. games, but I'm not yeah, very... What, Absolution not, wasn't very stealthy. Yeah, I, I learned you can just go guns blazing and do fine. Yep. But no, like, I love stealth games, but I suck at them. Like, <laughs> yeah, I love them too. I'm not sure I suck at them, but... You know. I, I'm not confident enough, but I don't know. My stream anyways, I'm gonna say fuck it. I haven't played it yet. Uh, I would recommend, um... What's what just came out? Uh, Dishonored? Dishonored? Dishonored 2 is alright, but I prefer Dishonored. Yeah, I beat the first one. Yeah, Hollow Knight I also got. It looks really fucking cool. Uh, yeah, I've seen some gameplay of it. It's pretty interesting. I like the art style. Like, I'm sure you'll like it, but it's a difficult game. I will say, though, the, the this is going to sound weird. The style of game that I am the worst at is platforming. Oh, then you're going to love it. Yeah. Which is weird, because I'm good at fucking Mega Man, but that's like different kind of platforming, you know? Like... What, were you good at Mario? Like, give me difficult Mario, and I'll get my ass kicked, like... Uh, uh excuse me. I mean, even basic Mario I fucking suck at. Yeah, I, I wasn't that bad at I, Mario. Hey, Ezer. I can't platform. I, I can't. I just can't do it. Uh, I, I like platforming. I like the whole jumping and Oh, I, I like it. I think it's a cool idea. I just fucking yeah. hate it, because I suck at it. Oh, I see. Kind of like how I hate... 
Overwatch because I suck at it. Yeah, like that. Didn't you like place like gold or something? Diamond. Diamond. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was my Smurf, dude. Don't. <sighs> fuck off. I, I I'm gonna be honest though. <laughs> I was gonna see how long I could let's go, but I actually had someone boost my Smurf into Diamond. Are you kidding me? I'm not joking. Ugh. God damn it. Oh, congratulations, Azur. I'm glad you got Whisper. No, uh, on uh, Destiny? Yeah, I got Whisper of the Worm, or uh, Black Spindle, or whatever you want to call it. Well, I believe tomorrow I'll be streaming Soul Calibur. Um, but then I might, I might do a Hollow Knight soon. Um, oh, uh, depending yeah, on how long it is. Tomorrow. Depending on how long Hollow Knight is, I might do it on Wednesday. If it's like a if it's like a short game, I just I might do a full play. Okay, um, yeah. I mean, it, I don't think Hollow Knight's that short of a game. I'm sure it'll take like one or two, but it's it's definitely not short. Like uh, oh god, no. Main little story, nightmares. Main story is 21 hours. Main story plus extra is 31 and a half, which is more. You're doing about, the whole thing. Do what? You're doing the whole Hollow Knight thing. What? You're doing the whole Hollow Knight story? I mean, that's what I would want to do if I was going to play through it. Like, 100% it? No, just the main story. Ah, uh, okay. It's 21 hours. Main story plus yeah, the extras okay. is uh, 31 and a half, which is how I would basically play it, but the completionist is 45. How long to beat is the best fucking website? How long? Uh, I'll look it up. Um, The big thing to note is that the more blue the color is underneath the hours is how like how accurate it is. is. Oh, so it's like if it's solid blue, it's like yeah, one hundred percent. We got yeah. it down. If it's like in the red, it means that they haven't had many people actually submit their times, so it's not that reliable. Um, and normally, normally it's on the completionist category that you'll see a lot of reds. See, Bloodborne. Yes, yeah, how main long to be? Story, 35 and a half hours, made an extra 45 hours. I have over 180 hours on one of my characters, and that's because I beat it the story three times with her. Man, you know what I'm surprised to hear? The Witcher 3, um, completionist is 170 hours. Right? Yeah, no, because The Witcher 3 was a long ass yeah, fucking that, game. Yeah, that's not what surprises me. Zelda beat that. Zelda? Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is at 177. Beat it by 7 hours. Fuck. Yeah. Like, Jesus Christ. Skyrim's at 224 for completionist. There's only fucking quests. <laughs> I expected that. Dude, I, I, I really hope it's at least 500 hours for the next, next one. If it's not 500 hours, I'll be pretty surprised. I'm not going to lie. Tomb Raider went up. The last one was 20 and a half for completionist. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider is 30 and a half. I don't play any of the Tomb Raider, so I can't really input that. Yeah, I like Tomb Raider. Mario Odyssey. I like it fine. Mario Odyssey completionist is almost sixty hours. Damn man, that's a lot of gameplay. Yeah, New Vegas is at one thirty three completionist. Look up um, what was it? Uh, fuck, what was I playing? Dragon Age. Uh, Inquisition. Yeah. Uh. Dragon Age... Where is it at? Inquisition uh, Completionist is 127. Wow, I got a great time. What about main? Uh, main is uh, 46. Main plus extra is 87 and a half. Okay, um, so I got a lot of content on my hands. Well, what you usually deal with is main plus extra. That basically means main story is if you just do the story and say fuck side quests, fuck everything. Yeah, I know. I figured it's main and then main plus yeah. extra is all the little side quests and shit. So what you're around about what you'll get if you just right. around. I usually look at main plus extra unless I like yeah. unless I just want to blaze through it and say fuck it. That's yeah. the kind of thing like for a Dark Souls game or a Bloodborne game, you can't really put a certain time on it because even if you do extra there's a certain amount of time it takes to go there or to do something like that yeah only 80 plus yeah red code only 80 plus <sighs> it's, i feel like it just varies too much for something like bloodborne yeah well i think we might go ahead in the podcast here that's cool with you are we done i That's believe it. so oh shit
Yeah, it's been actually one minute till two hours, so yeah. Ah, well, we got to stay for another minute then. All right. Well. It's it's required. Everybody watching, we're just going to hang out here. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, by the way, uh, first off, sorry that it's taking so long to upload. YouTube's being a bitch. I can tell you about that here in a minute, Costello. Um, but uh, it won't be quite two hours for you because I'm going to be cutting off the beginning where Costello was still getting his shit fixed and all that. So. No, go ahead. It's funny. If it's good, if it's funny, put it in. I could add it on at the end. Yeah, blooper reel. I don't care. Yeah. I don't have any shame, man. You met me. I have shame for for you. <laughs> oh, okay. Ozzy what? seems like it's going to take 100. Dude, 100 hours on an Assassin's Creed game would be pretty impressive. Yeah. Because I never played this for more than like 20 hours. Except Black Flag was the first game I 100%ed. And oh, yeah? I probably played like 80 hours on that one. Um. So, Binding of Isaac. Right. After Worth Plus. What do you think completionist is that? 60. 250. Fuck! <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Have you actually played Binding of Isaac, man? Like... I've played um, on the DS. I have one of the versions. Man, Rebirth, like... I think. There's just so much shit in Isaac. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. Uh, well, that makes me happy. Radiant quests. You both play Odyssey. What is a radiant quest? Uh, I don't know the term. Ah, well. How big do you think Odyssey is, in your opinion? Because Red Code says it's huge, huge. Wait, how how big? What is Odyssey? Like, what do you what do you mean? Assassin's Creed. What do you mean by like how big? Sass, uh, like in terms of content. In terms of content, I mean mm -hmm. it's it's actually pretty good. There's a lot of side shit. That's good. It's it's more than like because they've recently just been super story driven and oh. with a few side quests here and there. Completionist is sitting at ninety nine hours for Odyssey. Yeah, nice. Main story is thirty two and a half. Main plus extra is sixty five. Yeah, that's it. That's like an average game. Then that's good. Yeah, although Ubisoft projected eighty, but you know Ubisoft. Ubisoft is always wrong. We don't talk about Ubisoft. I mean, it's better than Origins. Origins main plus extra was only at forty seven and a half, and Completionist is at seventy nine as opposed to ninety nine. Yeah. Black Flag Completionist is at 57. Damn. It's pretty short. I guess I put a little bit too much time in it. What's the... What's the longest one? Actually, yeah, I think it's Odyssey. I think Odyssey is the longest one. Well, it seems to be their biggest one. Yeah, I mean, aside from DLCs and stuff, a lot of those are like in the red, um, and they're usually... Yeah, Assassin's Creed Identify, I don't know what the fuck that is. It's sitting at 100 hours, but it is complete red. Like Identified? Yeah, Assassin's Creed Identify. Might be new. Or some kind of like side game. Is that um, like one of is that one of the two D ones? Oh, it's Android and iOS. Oh, well then I don't give a shit. Yeah, it's during the Assassin's Creed two era. Oh fucking no, man. Oh fucking no. I'm just here to 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 die. I don't fucking know. I, I cannot think of anything. Good man, you're a man, man of many words, I can tell. Skate fast and eat ass. You heard it here first. Skate fast and eat ass. Yeah, that should be our tagline. But well, no, instead of hashtag, uh, I want your ping pong balls, it should be hashtag skate fast and eat ass. Okay. Or eat uh, ass and skate fast. Skate ass, eat fast. Alright, hold on. What are those? Anyway, um, I don't know if I'm going to start tomorrow or Tuesday, but I will be streaming Bloodborne again. Are you? And on weekends, I will be streaming Destiny 2. If we can get my rating together, we will be doing uh, Inspire of Stars. Oh, that's kind of dumb. Yeah, it's I've never done Inspire of Stars, and I'm hoping to get all my audio shit. Yeah, I can't compete with... Oh, what are you all talking about? There oh, you're talking about cat pictures, you fuckers. There, I went ahead and added skate fast to eat ass. Um because we kinda need that. You can't you can't live without eating some ass. Well, I eat so much ass it's affecting my nutrition. That's fine. I mean <laughs> Alright, so now I have hashtag skate fast eat ass in red and hashtag give me pink balls in pink. Have a good night, Cheshire. 
Bye, Cheshire. I love you. I don't know who you are. We should probably head off too. It's been. Two oh hours. fuck! We're four hour. We're four minutes over the two hour limit. Man, we're I fucked. Don't know. Yeah, we're not gonna get our mid roll ads. <sighs> yeah, all those ads. Man, we need to start doing fake ad reads. Dude, I can actually. I can get that done. All right, cool. You want to get that done? I got it. Like, make it sound like we're popular. So maybe somebody will like, actually like come across it. And go, hey, man, we should sponsor them. Cheshire says good night. Bye, Cheshire. I love you. You need someone to snuggle with? Aren't come, you married? Come to bed with me. <laughs> okay. No, I'm not married. <laughs> I have a girlfriend. Right, same thing. We're not interested in marriage. Not really, yeah. I mean, I can understand it. Neither am I. Neither of us care about marriage or babies. or. Anything it, like it just doesn't feel like it, it matters. We wear rings, though, so people don't think we're single. <laughs> Red, Red Coat says, oh my god, another man that loves you. Wait, who do I love? I already forgot. <laughs> and I'm just, uh, it's the red hair. Honestly, the red hair is nice. I'm just, 10. I'm just a capital H whore. Capital H whore? I'm yeah. more of a harlot. More of a capital W harlot? Yeah, capital W harlot. All right, cool. Harlot. All right, I think we're going to call it for the night. So right, anyone watching, regardless of platform, um, can you come cuddle with me? <laughs> uh, all right uh, that's it for the stream uh, uh on the next one uh, have a good night guys peace